should I been talking to y'all? I had the mic off, my bad. Sauce been the back, y'all. Sauce been the back. Let's get it in. Going up against Trimmer. I'm pretty sure I fought this guy a long time ago. He's got a lot of... A lot of wins. <sighs> Shorter than what I thought it was, my range right there. That's funny. Okay, okay. Whoopsies. All right, we're going to try to trying to get them open, man.
opened up right in time. weird <sighs> yo what's up spook yeah he quit on me bro I don't know why he quit on me man maybe maybe his health was real low or something I don't know why he quit on me What up, what up, what up? You get warmed up and I'm gonna do me some ranked. I'm working on, you know what I'm saying? I've been, I'm just working on seeing seeing my punches, you know what I'm saying? Seeing uh seeing open punches. Not so much the counter system, but I just I'm looking for that, you know, 100% accuracy, how to land, when to land, working the feet, working the accuracy. Played this guy yesterday. I, I joke. You know, I'll be working. I don't know what IMSO is. Did you see that? Damn, bro. I had to I had to pop up right hook. Oh god, put that man in the alternate dimension and shit. Took him to the multiverse of madness. I hate when I get I, I push people so hard I put them on a back foot, just just you know like just chasing them down, man. Just chasing them down. I gotta I gotta know when to get off the gas pedal.
Yeah, I was chasing him down just straight forward. And I gotta stop doing the straight forward. I get into that, just walk, walk straight forward, they walk straight back, and that's a problem. Now when I get the corner in them, I do really good when I put people in the corner. But sometimes I do that straightforward walk down. That's a problem. <laughs> About time, bro. I know it's hard. It's hard to figure out southpaws, man. It is hard. But if you if you work on it for a little bit, you can get it. Yeah. I thought I was never going to figure out southpaws. But it took it took me fighting some <laughs> I know how simple my issue was. Don't throw the right hook. Don't throw the right hook. It was that easy for me. Fight without the right hook. What was your issue? <laughs> don't use loose. All right. Hey, whatever works for you, bro. I, I don't use I don't use loose movement like that so i guess that wasn't a that wasn't an issue for me Says I'm always fighting loose movement. The tracking for punches is way worse with loose movement. With southpaws, I think it's because of how fast your guy moves and so throws to the alignment for hitting them is off. Whenever I hear tactical pressure, it just sounds like it's a code word for something I don't I don't quite understand. I don't know exactly what tactical pressure is. Can I get a definition of tactical pressure so I can follow along with the classroom? So 
so fake pressure is basically baiting is basically baiting out a punch is that what you're saying chasing somebody down baiting out a punch counter punch that's what fake pressure is I'm just trying to get a full concept of fake pressure Got him, bro. Super nasty. Super nasty. Pressure them, but don't overthrow. Be patient. Let them get nervous and th throw to bait punches and punish them. You, f you f faint. Do head movement feints. Cut the ring. Make a miss. Prod with the jabs to get a reaction. Okay. That's that's ki kind of what I thought is what y'all were talking about. Yeah. Jab, counter punch, just stay on top of them until they get tired of doing it. Jab, counter punch. Pretty much, I pretty much got what you're saying. I get it, I get it, I get it. <clears throat> if they do body spam, they are done for. I'm always doing them a fight. Yeah, they hate it. Can lead them turning full body spam, though.
Is how do you deal with body spammers? I either make them eat uppers or just spam them back. Uh, if you're asking me, it just depends on the style of body spamming. I haven't I haven't really ran across like too many people that are just like straight up body spammers. I don't really know. Yeah, make them miss. That's a good tactic. I don't really know like what's a good what's a good uh, you know I don't like you just mean lead body uppercuts like what's a good uh, I, I I don't even know what a body spammer looks like anymore. Cause they they don't look the way they used to look. I mean, I just don't really know, like a, like I said, a body spammer is, I don't think body spamming even exists anymore. It doesn't, it's not the same as it used to be. Like you used to could actually body spam where you couldn't do anything. I don't think that's a thing anymore. People could get mad because you're body targeting, but body spamming is not really a thing. Just in my opinion, body spamming is not a thing anymore. You definitely can't get KO'd like you used to by body spamming. You know, the KO rate on, on body is down. That's because people don't know how to attack the body. That's the only reason why they don't understand how. We got us a regular old back foot. We got us a back foot god up in here. You said it right on time, bro. We got us a back foot guy in here. I went ahead and put the p -p 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 paws on him, bro. The pee paws on, on the back foot guy.
pee paws on his ass. The pee paws. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I got them laid out. Outline a chalk, baby. Outline a chalk. Can't believe what well, I had to be around ten. I had to be around. What round was that? Ten nine. I had to be around. Been around nine. I'm like, how the fuck they get him around seven and eight? I know I was bullshitting. I've been learning. I've been boy. Hey man, let me tell you something. I've been paying attention to this game, bro. You think you think somebody ain't paying attention, bro? BZ paying attention. I've been paying attention to this game, bro. How to win rounds in this game is a art, bro. It is an art. Like you could talk like I could tell you how to win rounds, but there's there's how to win there's how to win rounds and then there's how to win rounds, you know what I'm saying? It's like there like there's a how to win rounds and then there's a how to how to win rounds. Playing this game it's a art. It's a art. It's a little bit more in depth. Like base level, you can win rounds very simply. Just I could just tell you, you know, do this, this, and that. But how to? There's like there's I could tell you how to win rounds, but how to steal rounds is totally different. You know what I'm saying? You like good at the at the round winning tactics, yeah. How to steal rounds is totally different, man. You gotta really. It's a, it's another it's another level. What is this guy? What what are you? What are you, cuz? <laughs> what in the fuck? What in the fuck? What in the what in the lab lagadashery is going on up in this motherfucker? In the lag of the lag of dasheries, the lag of dashes. What is going on up in here? This boy, that boy ping is wigging, <clears throat> wigging out, man. That one red bar. He must have been getting the lag too, man. The way he was swinging, he was just acting up, bro. Maybe he was like a level one or something. He just didn't want to fight me. I don't know what was going on. Oh, yeah, he was a level eight. He probably didn't want to fight me at all. Yo, King Dre, thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Big Dre up in the building.
see I'm I'm working I'm working on my offense man I'm working on my offense I'm seeing things I'm seeing things you see I'm in I'm integrating the weave I'm integrating the weave because there's a mis there's a mystery to the weave, you know what I'm saying? There's a mystery to chess boxing. So I'm in, I'm in a, I'm integrating the weave, you know what I'm saying? No, let me try this out. Let me try this out. <clears throat> let me try this Nello thing out. Like I have this, I have this Nello mastery in my brain. The only problem with Nello is, is that the type of fighter that you need to be in order to win with Nello, I am not built that way. Like I have it in my brain on how you. I got it down. I got the blueprint. On how to win with Nello. More quick slips. Yeah, you right. You show sure right. It's coming next, Spook. Coming next. You right about the quick slips. Coming next, baby. It's coming up. It's in the tactics. So uh I have I have the blueprint in my head of how Nello is supposed to be played. Problem is is that I'm not that guy. You know what I'm saying? So it's really really hard for me to do the true the true Nello tactic. So but I'm going to try I'm going to try my best to do it this fight. Hopefully I have a decent a decent opponent. And not a level one. Ah, might as well be a level one. I got a level seven. See me popping off with the true Nello tactic? This is it right here, bro. This is it. here with Nello's final form Ultra Instinct Nello Excuse me, what the fuck was that? <clears throat> All right. Nello's a different Nello's a different type of dude. <laughs> Yo, Nello's a fighter with the he's a 
a short range, max range fighter. Does that make any sense? He got short arms, but he's a max range short arm fighter. If that makes any fucking sense. <laughs> no fucking sense at all. Just watch how I, just watch how I do him. Watch how I do him now. This is a this is a weak opponent. You know what I'm saying? This is a weak opponent. But just watch how I do him. This is the way this is the way you should pilot Nello. Nah, it's not it's not for uh the quick slip is definitely not for the early rounds. In my opinion, the quick slip is not for the early rounds. Quick slip is like for um at at round six at the earliest. The earliest round six. You gonna get knocked the fuck out trying to slip somebody in the early round. You gonna get you gonna get fucked off. That's just my opinion. Yo, what's up, Eli? All right, let's see how I did on those rounds. Let's see how Big Nello did. started trading with him a little too early i probably should have waited a few more rounds but this is okay they gave me all the stream going good bit out they gave me all the rounds
Yeah, he's a rookie. He's a rookie, uh, rookie Roy. So we not we not gonna count it. He's a rookie Roy. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh. Ah, uh, nah, bro. This dude's cooked for sure. But I'm trying to uh, implement a, a fight style that w that works for Nello. They can uh trying to do a, a fight style that works for Nello. They can uh, actually get some people some some ranked wins with Nello. I noticed Nello has some things that he truly truly shines at that other fighters can't do so i'm trying to uh i'm trying to put that in the in the fight in the fight style <laughs> yeah, th <clears throat> there there is a Nello N Nello has some thing. I'm telling I've been I've been telling people this for a couple of days. Like Nello's got some things that he can do that other people other fighters um they can do but just not at the at the level that Nello can do it at. I remember at one point the game everyone was Nello players were cheesy. <laughs> yeah. What happened was I'll tell you exactly what happened. They changed they changed the way the judges judged, and they also um, they also changed the uh, same side damage, and that's what killed Nello. Same side damage and the judges. Watch how I do this. Watch how I do this. I'm telling you, this is gonna, this is gonna be the new Nello, the Nello. Um, what do you call it? The Nello meta. It's gonna be the Nello meta, man. I'm telling you, this, this is. You have to play with them very, very specifically. Very, very specific. I was trying something right there. It just wasn't working out for me. It's probably just Roy. <clears throat> Just Roy being Roy. I saw the reason they change judges is so people don't spam. That's why the judges like when you throw minimal shots. That wasn't a good situation. <laughs> I do not understand that sentence, Eli. You contradicted yourself two time, two or three times in that sentence. It says I saw the reason they changed judges is so people don't spam. That's why judges like when you throw minimal shots. That wasn't a good solution oh solution okay i was like what the fuck what did he say that's why the judges like we throw middle shot that wasn't a good solution okay um
there are still judges that like vol that like volume. There are there are volume judges, but there's a what could happen is is you could get two volume judges, or you could get two like pa power judges. You know what I'm saying? You could get two volume judges or, or two power judges, and you gotta be able to decipher what type of judges you got early in the fight, or you're fucked if you don't know. beta dropped and people use the account throw at people's guard now they don't because even though he might be ahead in the scorecards his health is low so sooner or later he's gonna get KO'd because the lower the health and stamina the harder the mini game is to get back up See, I've won all the rounds of this Nello. So, basically, by what you said earlier, Eli, that's how you win as Nello. Don't get hit a lot. Obviously, when you hit, Nello's got some of the highest power output in the game. So when you hit, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do damage at a higher clip than other fighters, without a doubt. You just gotta know how to do it the right way with Nello. I gassed him right there, bro. I gassed him. And you gotta remember, like, and like, I I hate to say this because I, I don't like to bring in like a lot of IRL when I'm talking game mechanics i don't like to bring in a lot of irl because i'm not an irl boxer and i i really don't know shit about irl so i hate to bring this in there but i'll, I'll try oh you know what i just won't say it you got to remember this nello has the 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 uh that body killer perk or whatever so when you're talking about volume and judges and landing shots all those things come into play when basically when you beat somebody's body up you limit the amount of volume they're able to throw per round and that's what Nello does if you slowly enter the fight with Nello 
Nello will beat up the body and then a high volume puncher won't be able to throw volume then at that point Nello will be able to outpoint you out volume you out damage you he'll be able to do all of that but you have to play it a very very particular style So as you can see, this Roy is cooked, bro. He is absolutely cooked. All I have to do is not let him get back in the fight. All I gotta do is keep cooking him. Don't let him get back into the fight. So you just have to pay attention, like, like I said with Nello, he, he has a lot of he has a lot of things going against him, but he has a, a lot of positives, and it's just hard to maximize his positives because I don't think there's another fighter like Nello in the game. To be honest, I don't I don't think that there's um there's not anybody else with this architecture. Um I'm sure there will be when they release more fighters. But this is an architecture you don't see a whole lot. There you go, it says, because they might even be ahead in the scorecards. Man, last night I lost twice in a row against RJJ. Reminded myself why I stay away from middleweight. <laughs> oh, hey, Angles. Roy almost ran me out of middleweight. I'm, bro, I am not going to lie, bro. I am. He, he Initially, when I first played the game, 
when I first started the game, Roy ran me out of middleweight, and that's why me and you met in welterweight, because of Roy. Now, I got some sauce on Roy, bro. I got I got the sauce on Roy. Roy ain't getting me like that, bro. I got the sauce on Roy. Fuck is that? Oh. I'm just going I'm just going to tell y'all what it is, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all what it is with Nello. Like Roy is Captain Hook, but Nello, Nello is the Hook, bro. You got it. You got to use Nello's hooks. That's the key to Nello. That's the key. That's the key to Nello, man. You have to use this hook. I'm talking, and uh, and it's crazy. It, it uh, you have to use this hook. That's the key to Nello. You got to use this hook, and it's two hooks that most people actually it's three hooks. The three most underused hooks in the game are the hooks that make Nello special. The three most underused hooked in the game. So for the guys that play this game, y'all already know what it is. It's the liver punch, the liver, you know, the body hook. It's the um, the left directional hook. That's the, that one is very very special to Canelo. The left, um, the left directional hook is very very special to Canelo in this game. The liver, so that's the body hook, the directional hook. Nah, it's not it's not a check hook. It's the directional hook is different. Uh I said three. I said the liver uh, the liver, the directional. Oh yeah, and the rear hook. His uh his rear hook is stupid. His rear hook is stupid, bro. He's got three hooks that most people don't use. And Nello's three hooks are are some of the best in the game. That's what makes them special. That dude just quit. He just quit, bro. I 
I made that dude just quit. So yo, angles, did you see it? I know you've been watching a little bit, angles. You see, I I I started off catching them with the directional hook. That's that's one of Nello's best features is his left directional hook. Nah, nah. I've been I've been trying I've been trying to uh master Nello for a while, man. He's very, very difficult to master. And uh his directional left hook, that's kind of how you want to start him off. Uh depending on who you're fighting against, you kind of want to start off with the directional left hook. And then you want to work the lead body uppercut and the uh the liver punch. Uh kind of like you know like third fourth round and uh after after you if you can if you could be if you could be in the fight if you're fight if you're using Yell nello and you're in the fight from you know the four, fourth round to the sixth round if you could be in the fight from one through six you can win the fight the first six rounds are very, very important on on how to play Nello. Very, very important. And what I was saying earlier, I think you missed it, uh, Angles. And Nello is uh, what I what I've been kind of experiencing with him is he's a short armed max range fighter, which makes it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but he's a short arm max range fighter. You would think like just get all the way in, but you don't want to do that in the in the early rounds, or you're gonna lose. You're gonna get beat the fuck up. So this is a perfect fight, a perfect matchup right here. Like to beat Sergio, this is gonna be it's gonna be funny. This is perfect. Because what I say, I said his left hook is very, very unique. And then obviously Nello's got the uh, the body perk. And, and that's how you beat, if, for, the, for those of you that don't know, you beat Sergio to the body. That's how you beat Sergio. For those that don't know. And for those that also, also, if you're aspiring to be a good Nello, Nello is most vulnerable in the first round. He's the he's one of the only fighters that's that's like this. I don't know I don't know what it I don't know what why he's like this. But Nello, you could lose the fight in the first round with Nello. He's very very vulnerable in the first round. I don't know I don't know what that is. Um, but like right out the gate, out the gate, he's probably one of the weaker fighters in the game, uh, defensively out the gate. As soon as you start, he has a, he is a, his, his defense is one of the weakest defenses in the game right out the gate, which is strange, but Nello gets stronger as the fight goes on. He gets stronger.
So, in, in my opinion, Nello doesn't really get strong until about the fourth or the fifth round. Then Nello gets really strong. So you gotta be able you gotta be able to fight, stay in the fight, stay on the cards until the fourth, fifth round. And Nello's gonna get really strong. Like I said, Nello is extremely vulnerable in the first couple of rounds. Caught him with a nasty one right there. Fucker. You got to be very careful, man, with, with letting somebody beat you up uh, in the first couple of rounds. He got he got a little bit um he got a little bit more on me than what I wanted. That's for sure. I want to play this round. I want to make it to the fourth round. I really do before I give them a whole lot of pressure. Got some maintenance going on over here if you hear crazy sounds. <laughs> maintenance. All right, I did good. It's kind of right where I wanted to be. Oh. Well, I was doing good, so this fucker decided to just fucking tee off on my ass right there at the end. He says, hi, I'm happy I got to play Test Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, that's cool. How was it, uh, Kraken? Hey, VZR, I need a... A what? Tonight, be ready. Oh, you want a revenge match? Like in three hours or, or around it. Okay, I'll, I'll fight you, Robbie. No problem, no problem, Robbie. I got you. All right, so check it out. I'm in the fight. I'm in the fight. Right where I want to be.
Actually, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go in even deeper into the fight for uh, Canelo to get stronger against uh, Sergio. Some of y'all know why. Some of y'all don't know why. I ain't gonna tell y'all all the sauce today. I gotta save. I gotta save some sauce for different days. And I tell you all the sauce in the same day, you won't come back to the channel. I gotta save it for another day. But I just realized I might have to go a little bit deeper to get uh, to get strong against Sergio. This is a good Sergio. This is a really good Sergio. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not gonna say it. Like, he kind he kind of knows what's up. I'm not gonna say he's a really good Sergio. I can't remember what his rank was or whatever. But he kind of he kind of has an idea. He kind of has an idea of, I think, what's going on. He's fighting like he's knowledgeable of something i don't know if he just has one fight style or if he's actually knowledgeable of how this is going to go with nello most people just beat nello up to the head Oh, I was thinking this would be a juicy fight, but yo, this this Sergio has some good feet, bro. This Sergio has some good feet. He knows exactly what he's doing with his fucking feet. I'm watching him. This motherfucker knows what he's doing with his feet, bro. He this motherfucker's a tease. He knows exactly what's going on. I'm trying to set up my right my right uh body hook and he he will he will bait me in to the to the right body hook and then step back left. See he's always going top mat. There we go. There we go. I got me some good ones right there. He's always going top mat. Every now and then, you'll see him circle down to bottom mat, and then he'll immediately switch back to top mat and then hit me because he knows the angles. Oh, shit. Then he caught me with the, with the fierce. Everybody knows that Sergio's got that fierce um, power straight. I think that was the power straight that he caught me with.
But yeah, he's he's trying to set me up for real, for real. I was trying to figure it out. I'm like, yo, what's up with this guy, man? The way he's moving. And I see what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. He's he's con he's controlling me. He's keeping me in the pocket inside of keeping keeping my shoulder inside of his chest. So he knows what he's doing with, with the with the footwork. And every now and then he'll show me he'll step down and he'll put his lead foot on the inside and as soon as I as soon as I bite it he'll step back out see right now he, he's putting his lead foot on the inside he wants me to bite it so he can step back out See, then I went to the liver heavy. He stepped up and then back out. He's smart with the feet. Man, I know, I know y'all not like really, like hoping and like really, man. Y'all don't remember how long we sat around and waited for the last update? Oh, it's gonna be now. Oh, it's gonna be now. It's gonna, man, come on now. You better be happy with what you got, or God will never bless you. That's just how it goes. I really need to, to I need to steal around and get back into this. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh, I got away with one right there. I was trying to catch him. 
Angles, you know I was trying to catch him, bro. I was trying to catch him with the flash KO right there, bro. I had him lined up. I was trying to catch him with the flash KO. But I think it's possible that I stole the round. It's possible. Body shots be so effective. <laughs> they they are. Body shots are effective. Oh, what? Bro, that motherfucker lean back just a little. Like, god damn, like how do you how do you fucking know? Is he slipping me or like what the fuck is that? Like how is he Okay, he's weaving me. I'm gonna have to start pull back weaving, bro. Like, this motherfucker pull back weave me just enough for me to miss, bro. Just enough. I'm gonna start doing that shit. Like, I was right at his face, and he, uh, I was like, what the fuck I missed? Like, I was, you know, I got short-ass arms. I was all the way up on him, and he pulled back just enough to make me miss. I was like, wait, what the fuck's going on? Damn, they ain't give me none of those rounds? Boy, the game hoeing me. I was hoping, I was hoping this would be a good matchup. But this guy's got really good feet. And uh I started to think about some of the some of the matchups, some of the uh things that, that affect this matchup as the fight was going on, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This might be a lot harder than what I think it's gonna be for Nello. And it turns out as of right now, it is. I'll have to uh I'll have to work on my southpaw shit. Cause this dude this dude definitely outworked me. Gotta give him his credit. He outworked me for sure, for sure. Sergey got them fast ass hands, man. Run up on you and polka dot your ass. Now, I wanted to be able to body Sergio, but this dude, man, he is moving really good.
I'm goddamn Sergio hands is fast in a bitch. I think I did pretty good against him though. For being for being Nello, shit. I think I did pretty good. It didn't quite go the way that I wanted it to go. Because, you know, it's tough dealing with a southpaw. He's able to do that. He's able to get me with that, that fucking power right straight, really lining up on me. So that shit's hard to deal with. Should have been on him more with the, the jab cross. Yeah, I should have been on him more with the jab cross for sure. But uh, I think I did really good. Um, I'm gonna do one more Nello match. Hopefully, I get a decent fighter, a decent opponent. I'm gonna see how well I do. Ah, damn, he won all of the last rounds. I was able to get. Get something going in round one and three, but after that, couldn't fuck with him. Yo, thank you for the uh, follow. I don't even know. I guess I'm just a bad reader, bro. Nija Connolly. I don't know. <laughs> just a bad fucking reader. Uh, let's see here. I did get his health down. I didn't work. I didn't work his body enough. And oddly, I had 221 body shots, but they were mostly um, jabs, jab straights, I believe. Um, not enough uppercuts, as you see. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you. Nigel. Nigel Connolly. All right. All right. Uh, so, did I say it right? Nigel. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, definitely wasn't enough uppercuts to the body. Only 56, I mean 52, and I landed a lot of them. Um, just didn't do it enough. So, obviously, body straights, you know, do, do hurt the body. 
jabs and straights they do hurt the body but you're not gonna you're not gonna zap somebody of their uh of their stamina bar um by punching them you know 200 times with a uh, body straights and jabs unless they're counters unless you're just every single punch is a as a counter maybe But I, but even then I doubt it. We're gonna try this thing. We're gonna try this thing. Oh, a little more. I'm gonna try this a little more. Ah, spook surpasses me. Congratulations, spook. Ah, man, I got a level 13, bro. That's the thing, man. Like, I wish I could queue up for fighters for, like, a certain level or something. Like, I only want to fight fighters above level 30 or something like that. <laughs> I just fuck it with you, spook. Maybe I can pass you back up as soon as I uh, get on, as soon as I get to fight and uh, rank fights again. What's up, GXD? GDX. GXD. Antelope. How you doing, bro? How you doing? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. Working on my on my Nello. Trying to be trying to get better with Nello. It's a pretty tough thing to do, but I'm working on it. Absolutely right, Angelo. His hooks are too fast. <laughs> Against a Roy final boss. Uh yeah, I'll probably fight you, bro.
says, yeah, I use other fighters as well. The way I middle is light frost. <clears throat> okay, so. Oh shit, slept me bro. Ah damn, you gotta watch this dude. Roy nasty. Slept the shit out of me bro. The fuck? I ain't even see that hoe. Crazy. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell them nothing. Nah, uh, they they said they hey anybody anybody that want to test it, go test it. Go test it. Anybody that think they they can figure it out or they can handle it, go test it. Shit, I'm gonna let them figure it out the same way I had to. You gotta go in there and go fight. Let them go fight it out. Was the same same shot? All right, shit. You tell me, homie. You tell me. You say he got the sauce. You tell me. <laughs> oh, there go Duke. <laughs> I right, yeah. Send me yeah, send me the clip, bro. Let me let me see what's happening. Don't send me no five second clip neither. Give me at least, you know, thirty to sixty seconds. Send me no five second clip and then I'll be like, yeah. That's cool. Sauce is sauce. <laughs> this dude killed me with the pot with a power hook bro i walked right into it slayed my ass bro my boy was slain slain bro power hooked the shit out of me bro did you hear that motherfucker He did it again. Oh, 
What's up with this guy? What's up with him, bro? He just come out doing nothing but power hooks. I got caught by that motherfucker, that's for sure. <laughs> I got caught by that shit. I mean, nobody does that, so... Look, he did it again. It caught me off guard. <laughs> it caught me off guard, but I, I know what I'm supposed to do. And it, like, that was crazy, bro. Like, nobody power hooks. I won my first 20 matches. I won my first match in 20 seconds. Flash KO. That's nice. That's nice. You can get caught. You know, it can happen in the game. You can get caught. You come in to fight and you don't pay attention, you finna get knocked the fuck out. It happens to me. I come in to fight and I don't be paying attention. I don't have no plan. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do. And I don't be paying attention to what the other guy doing. Yeah, you get knocked the fuck out. Uh, that's the thing. I don't think the damage needs to be boosted very much, like, at all. I think the damage is, you know, right where it needs to be uh, with what they're trying to... What they're trying to sell. But... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. sure you know there'll be a point to where you can um you know when the game is more more polished you know you'll be able to pick what type of damage damage settings you want to fight on but I, I think that i think the damage is kind of right where it needs to be because the reason why the damage is the way it is why it's the way it is is to Stop people from spamming. That's the that's the main goal of why the damage is the way it is. To stop spammers from being able to win. So that a veteran player would never lose to a spammer. That's that's the reason why it is the way it is. So vets don't lose to spammers.
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The punch, the punch damage. The reason why it's it's set up the way it is is so that you don't lose to same side spamming. Basically, the game had amplified damage in the last patch because you could just hit somebody in the same side until you just boom, just knock them the fuck out. And they wanted to take spamming away. And in order to do that, they had to nerf. Um, they had to nerf fighting that is, uh, how do you put it? Fighting that is, you know, repetitive. Yeah, but if your if your five X combo is like the same punch over and over again, then uh, that's a problem. If your five X combo hits hits um, different points, then you're gonna you're gonna get a rock. Like if I continuously catch somebody with a counter left hook, yeah, it'll do damage, right? Like a counter left hook, it's gonna do damage. It's a counter, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rock somebody as fast as if I caught them with a, a counter left hook and then a counter right hook and then, uh, you know, a counter body uppercut and then a counter body uh liver punch if you mix your shots up that's when you that's when you do the most damage but if you continuously just catch somebody with the same the same punch it's not going to work it's not going to work for you You gotta be you have to be able to hit shots at all different levels. You can't just like be like, man, you know what? I'm I'm great at hitting the left hook. I mean, it'll work, but it's gonna take you twelve rounds. It's gonna take a long ass time to, to get that get that KO. I'll tell you right now. You gotta, you gotta move, you gotta move around, you gotta move around. And that's what I mean. I've been doing body head and it doesn't do anything even at the eighth. All right. I'll give you, I'll give you a demonstration. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to offline mode against the computer, and I'll give you a demonstration of how it works. I'll do this real quick, so I can show you exactly how it works. I think. So we got Nello here with the the fucking crazy ass uh the crazy ass chin Nello versus uh Sugar Ray Leonard. We're in welterweight. 
and I'm gonna show you. Oh, I'm gonna give you a good idea of of how of how to get the KO. All right. See right there, he's already rocked. We're like 30 seconds into the fight, I already rocked him. I rocked him again right there. That's another rock. So those were only punches to the head in the first round. And if you're paying attention, you know how to rock somebody. If you were paying attention. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna give you another demonstration. I'm gonna give you another demonstration. The same thing that goes for the head goes for the body. Yeah, but online, it's most, it's most rounds go to decision when going crazy on each other. Well, once you're going when you're going up against a real opponent a real opponent is not going to allow you to just beat the shit out of them it's not going to happen but the main the main goal of what i was trying to show you is um how to get the ko if you if you got enough skill to get the ko i showed you how to get it now if the other person has enough skill to stop you from getting the ko then that's a skill thing so i'm gonna show you the body thing Body KO. You see that right there? Body KO. Second round. Body KO. Most fighters online are not going to stand there and let you beat their body up and get the KO. Nobody's going to do that. But if you know how to do it, then it's it becomes a skill thing. There it is. Body KOs. Yeah, see, Joe's Joe's better at it than I am. Like, I can I can somewhat smell a body KO, but like, you know, online is so finicky with like whether or not you're landing shots and shit like that. It's kind of hard for me to uh it's kind of hard for me to fill it out
What'd you say? It's harder with people like a loser to my level and higher. Anyone else is a light pack. So. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Sometimes online, there's so much lag and different things going on. You think you're hitting all these shots. You ain't you ain't hitting shit. And I'm sorry for all the background noise. And the one the one way uh to know the one way if like if you just like just don't understand it and you just can't comprehend what's going on. One way to help you understand is when you're playing this game, you know every punch that you throw takes stamina. When you're playing and you're punching, you see your stamina bar go down. If you're playing online and you throw a punch and you do not see your stamina bar go down, guess what? You didn't really throw a punch. You didn't really throw one. You thought you did. You pressed the button. The animation happened on the screen, but the stamina bar did not go down. You did not throw a punch. That's the that's the best the best way I can tell you. If you throw a punch and you see no stamina bar go down, the game did not register your punch as real. That's the best way I can explain it. Man, I beat this guy yesterday, bro. This is a dude that, that took me fucking 11, 12 rounds with Nello. And then and then he DC'd on me and ranked. This is that guy. Let me see if I can give him the, the body KO. We're gonna go for a body KO. I don't like this guy anyways. There's got there's got to be a balance, you know what I'm saying? Because like if you buff if you buff counter punches too much, guess what? Nobody will ever punch. Everybody will become a pure counter puncher, and we'll just be standing there staring at one another, waiting to get the counter punch. So there has to be a balance between spamming, counter punching, and regular punches. We already have somebody that does that does exactly what I just said. We are we already have somebody that does that. <laughs> the man say he twenty five percent bot. How does his Khan's chin is already terrible? You're saying you want it to be even worse?
Yeah, I think I think that you're the he's having a hard time understanding the damage system. I think that's the that's the problem. Is I had a hard time understanding it the the first day the patch came out. I was trying everything in the book, you know, I was I was testing the damage system. I was testing it, testing it, testing it to make sure I completely understood how the damage system worked. I tested the damage system for like 11 hours straight. Till I understood exactly what was going on. Uh, yeah, it's no problem, man, Angelo. I mean, yeah, if you think you got it, bro. If you think you got it, then, you know, you got it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess could it, could, I mean, could you buff it a little? Sure you could. But I think if you did buff it, like, to me, buffing it would be like moving damage to 1.5 damage. I'm not really sure how you could buff it. like the way it's set up right now. I don't think you could buff it without without putting somebody's health in danger like at all times. Like it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to explain it because the health that you see is like a whole body health. So if you were to buff the damage buff the damage you would see fighters being completely fucking destroyed by like round four they would be like they would have no health bar at all like that health bar that was just on the screen if you were to buff the damage they would be completely destroyed by round four Do a spinning back fist arm bar. I got you, bro. I got you. Watch this. Did you see it? Did you see it, cuz?
I'm gonna see if I can get that body KO. I think that's uh is that Nina Nina with with the Nina TV? I don't know if I, <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't figure what that is. Nina with the Nina TV, Nina with the Dub TV. Nina with the Nina Dub TV. Anyone got a game suggestion from Steam? Kind of loaded on Steam currency. Bro, if you like racing and you own a racing wheel, yo, that I racing is crazy, bro. Crazy. I was fucking with it, but I ain't on controller, bro. That shit hard as fuck, bro. You can do it, but it's hard as fuck. I'm finna start taking donations for a motherfucking racing wheel, bro. Anybody, anyone, body want to put into BZ getting a race wheel so I could be on here with my helmet and shit and be driving? Yo, yo hit me with the bits. Hit me with the, uh, hit me with the bits. Hit me with the, uh, subs, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the racing, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be Sauce Earnhardt, you know what I'm saying? Sauce Earnhardt in the building. Trying to be Sauce Gordon. Quit playing with me. Said I copped the NBA 2K23 because it was for sale for 9000 Get ready or not, it's a fun, like, cop simulator kind of thing. SWAT simulator? Hell nah. Y'all practicing me in 12? Uh, I can't rock with y'all. Y'all practicing me in 12? <laughs> Everybody up in there a mark. <laughs> they're gonna have they gonna they gonna come out with snitch simulator, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers snitching. Informant simulator. I'm about to make an Amari from the John account on Undisputed. I grew up a criminal, so I wanted to see what it was like on the other side. <laughs> you would <laughs> you wouldn't see what it's like on the other side. Hell nah. I'll be wondering how do you smell body KOs like that, bro? Like this man be knowing exactly when the body KO was coming, and I'm trying to I'm trying to figure that out. Like I know if I get him tired, I know I know the body KO is coming, but 
prior to getting them tired? I have no idea. I have no idea how to sniff out a KO like that. I guess it's the same thing like it's it's just like throwing the the head KO. It's the same thing. But I guess I don't I don't do my body work good enough. I gotta work on it. Gotta work on my body work. I'm trying to body I'm trying to body KO this dude right here. Cause he's pissing me off. Caught him. Chomp. Only problem I have with my body work is I can really only get, I can not only really get when trading punches. Yeah, you usually, that's the thing with me, like usually uh, a fighter, a fighter will show me two sides. I usually can't get the third, you know what I'm saying? I can't get the third side. They're going to show me two sides. They ain't going to give me that third side, bro. But, but busting up two, like I just seen right there, but busting up two sides makes it real easy to get the head KO. If you bust up two sides, then you do two sides to the head, you can easily get a head KO. Who would y'all would like in the game? Tell me all the fighters. Yo, thank you for the follow, uh, Munchuck, Munchuck. I don't know, that name, that name sounds like really freaky, man. A Munchuck. That's, that sounds like a freaky name, bro. All this uh, munch talk. You got like the munch chuck. most frustrating part about undisputed right now is the awful lag the terrible fighter balancing and the damn near broken scoring system that stuff gotta be ironed out quick quick cuz yo well chuck chunk you in the right place homie you in the right place homie because right here in BZR's Undisputed Channel, baby, we talk about all the kinks that need to be ironed out. We talk about how we get the iron. Yo, let me go get the iron, bro. Let me go get the fucking iron, bro. You think I don't be ironing shit? The only nigga you know, my shirt ain't iron, but I got a fucking iron. That shit don't even make fucking sense, right? But I'll be tss, tss, sizzling motherfuckers, bro. 
I be sizzling, motherfuckers. The iron's not for me. It's for you. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> Yo, we got the iron jokes up in this motherfucker. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> Who is that? It almost looked like Peyton Manning. Whose face is that? I thought it was Peyton Manning at first. Yo, what's up, JX? Yo, that just that just occurred to me. Yo, JX, is that like a is that is that your birthday or is that a is that a like a Jaguar name, man? Is that a car name? The Jaguar is the XJ, I believe. Year he was born, yeah, 03. Saying it could have been an 03 Jack. I had a Jack. I had a 2010 Jack. For a little bit. Uh, X, uh, XF. The 5.0 in it. That motherfucker was nasty. JX, oh, I had an affinity, but that bitch was illegal, that bitch. So I just came up with the 03 JC, JX. All right, Angelo, I see you around, bro. My prom sub, but it's unavailable to the to the eight. So I'll sub in. Hey, it's all good, bro. It's all good. I take prom subs whenever I can get them. <laughs> Yo, angles. You see, you see me right there, bro. Angles, you see me right there. I hit I hit a different move. I hit a different move. <laughs> I'm on some goofy shit. Hold up, y'all check that out. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> you see it? You see it? <laughs> I was like, yo, let me see if this shit work. <laughs> I hit a I hit a different move, bro. <laughs> Nah, it's not rank, bro. This dude's a rank fighter, though. A rank fighter to be quitting. He be quitting like a motherfucker. <laughs> nah, I ain't see the message, bro. Let me uh, let me check it out real quick. Let me go ahead and check that out.
Oh, yeah, yeah, I know about that. I know about that, bro. Why they do that? Are you still talking to me, Eli? Um, I don't know what you mean, though. I don't know what you mean about why. Man, yeah, you ain't ever seen. Yo, who be doing that wake up real good, J Surge? Somebody in the NBK league be throwing that wake up real good. Is it Buffalo Loaded? Is either Buffalo Loaded or is or is Wayne? Throw that power straight and wake up like five times in a match. I forgot who be doing that shit. You ain't ever seen a dude do that? He be in the NBK league. That boy wake up every time. Yes, yeah, Wayne. Man, shit. Wayne line that bitch up every time wake up. No problem. Yeah, when stunned, the wake the wake up. When you stun and you trying to come become unstunned. Nah, but I was saying some uh I, I think it's Wayne Wayne does that shit in the tournament all the time inside uh inside the NBK league he be waking up like every fucking fight I think it's Wayne it's Wayne or uh Buffalo Loaded he said it was Wayne You know it'd be funny, man, if you got knocked the fuck out. If somebody was coming to uh coming to get you while stunned, and then and then you fucking power straight to their ass and flash KO'd them, that would be fucking funny. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. That boy caught the fade. He said with the power, John.
<laughs> Power John's emoji coming. <laughs> go go Power John's. Yo, what is that? What is the what is the go go Power John? Motherfucker said it's John time. Power John activate. Yeah, we going in the rank, bro. <laughs> Niggas say power, power John activate. It's the Mega John. I know, I know you a, a green a green ranger white ranger fan everybody is you know what i'm saying you got the dragon john the tiger john the boy calling out the power calling out the dragon john got the flute the dagger flute calling out the dragon john It's when the John come out and I hit him in the John in the John. Then the John come off and hit the floor. <laughs> oh. Damn, John. <laughs> come on, bro. How is this possible? I just fought this dude unranked i go into a rank match and i get the same dude fuck and you know he finna dc on me bro oh he stream sniping me oh that's what it <laughs> that's what it is <laughs> so you check if somebody keep yeah yeah it's okay it's okay i ain't tripping i mean he gonna give me the points you know what i'm saying he gonna he gonna give me the points you think i'm still in our rank i thought for sure that i i clicked rank i thought for sure i clicked rank but i could have i could have not clicked rank
I definitely ain't finna back out and find out. He gonna have to give me them points. Recent clips say otherwise. I let my older brother play off my camera. Facts, I swear, you know, I liked it. And a commentator. Tire boxer. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck it, I'm gonna retire too, goddamn. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm retire so I could tell all the sauce. Nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna retire. Not yet. Not yet. I'll be. I'll be out there watching the fight. Like, yo, he's he keeps throwing the body. He's trying to set up the. Uh, you see when you do plan to retire for us. <laughs> Great career. Yeah. I would be like, yo, he's he's throwing the body punch. He's setting up the right hook. He's looking for a flash KO. He he threw the you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be putting out all the juice, bro. Motherfucker gonna be like, yo, you keep telling everything I'm gonna do, I can't fight. Motherfuckers gonna be fighting with the commentator on, like, oh shit, I'm finna get hit. BZ just said it. <laughs> I'm finna lose. Better do exactly what he says. Trust me, I can talk better than I can fight. That's for damn sure. You know what I'm going to do since since I'm fighting this guy and I really don't care, you know, I'm just I'm fighting the same dude and I really don't care. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to focus on on my on my ring cutting since I'm just like I was sitting there reading reading the fucking uh uh reading the damn the damn chat. And I let this dude get a get around on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to start working on my ring cutting. I'm gonna knock his ass out real quick. Make sure that I'm on top of my rain cutting.
He's definitely stream sniping me, bro. I think he like literally heard me just say that. And then I, then he started like pumping his fist. Like, come on. He stream sniping me, man. I wonder who this is. I, I really do. I wonder who this is. He's anonymous. This is like my Valentine, my secret Valentine. He's anonymous. It says BZ, you just beating everyone else today. <laughs> When he's rotating and about to hit a dead end, start moving to the opposite way before he does sidestep and walk up. Well, that's the thing. The like I don't I can I can read where somebody's going. The problem is is that you could always slip through somebody. Like if the crack is this big, you could still just walk right by them no matter what. And if you get too hard, if and if you do actually body block them then they can just slip right out with that like with these they could slip right on out so i think the, the body block wall needs to be a little bit a little bit more pronounced when you're when you're cutting somebody off oh shit oh shit i forgot Okay, I'm good. I just don't really focus on like cutting somebody off a whole lot. But I definitely can. It's just not what I'm always. Sometimes I'm I'm working on my footwork and I'm looking at the angles and things like that, and I'm not really focused on cutting people off because it's hard to, it's hard to like think about like a shitload of things at one time, like how to cut somebody off, how to get your punch angle, what type of punch you're trying to set up, if this dude is in a Philly shell or not. A lot of things come into play on which way you're trying to get somebody to walk if you're head hunting them or not oh he caught the fade right there bro he caught the fade Can you put on Love Sosa by Chief Key? <laughs> man, who's still listening to Chief Keith? Who's still listening to Chief Keith, man? Only Tank and Chief Keith is listening to, to Chief Keith. Only Tank. <laughs> yeah. yeah, only Tank listening to that. Who listening to that, man? I don't care if you're the champ or not. Who listening to that? He just happened to know Chief Keith. Oh, my day being, my day is fabulous. You know what I'm saying? Fabuloso.
Alright. I was on the phone with my wife. As we say around here from from the late the late great lazy, we papping them out. them out i listen to nle a lot of young boy and polo g juice world that's what's up that's what's up i listen to music too a little bit i mostly listen for uh for you know punches on undisputed for punch confirms but when I'm not listening for punch confirms, um, I enjoy me a little Soldier Boy. I enjoy me a little, uh, a little, little Uzi Vert, a little uh, shit, a little Migos. You know what I'm saying. Ooh, caught him with that nastiness, with the nastiness. I even I even listen to the weekend. You know what I'm saying. My wife likes to listen to the weekend, so I listen to the weekend too. Ooh. Damn, he deed up for that long, bro. Said we need Tank, Shakur, Earl Spence. Devin Haney, Floyd, Jake Paul in this game. Boy, we do not need no motherfucking Jake Paul, bro. Take, like, you was real good till you said some goddamn Jake Paul, bro. You, you almost had me going somewhere till you said some Jake Paul. You, was just, you just had to troll me at the end, bro. Got him. Got his shit cut. Got his shit cut.
she in trouble now. He in trouble now, bro. I done cut his shit up. <laughs> he said, am I sleepy yet? I ain't never sleepy, you know what I'm saying? I stay on that potion, bro. I stay potioned up. Try to, you try to catch me with the wordplay. Try to catch me with the wordplay. Nah, I stay on that potion, cuz. So I right, just checking, got, got a Canelo waiting in the cut. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's about as bad as a stream sniper right here. He better, almost as bad as a stream sniper. At least this guy though is official, you know what I'm saying? This guy right here gonna tell me he gonna bring the Canelo and try to and try to beat me. He going he going he going to come out the bushes, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, he going to announce himself first. Nah, this guy not talking to me, bro. He's a he's a, a Valentine day. You know what I'm saying? He's a he's a secret Valentine. This dude's probably stream sniping me. He's a secret admirer. <laughs> oh, I definitely got it, without a doubt. Anello, Anello ain't never had it. Never had it. What up, biz? I mean, why well, I say biz? He the NBK tank. What up, tank? The no limit tank up in the building. Still chilling at work from now. About to leave. Yeah, we got the we got the no limit tank in the building. This time, Master P ain't driving, and we got Silk in the driver's seat. Silk the shocker. Mister, Mister, Mister. 
Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> we got Silk in the driver's seat. <laughs> I know some of y'all too uh some of y'all too young for Master P and Silk the Shocker, but you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and uh go ahead and Google that shit. You know what I'm saying? Google Mr. 99. We got we got a uh, tank theme song, you know, Mr. 99. Call me what the fuck you want. As long as you got Mr. in front. He said this look like the matchup from last night. With my brother. <laughs> Man, this is how all Nello matchups, they look just like this. Every time Nello come out, this is how they look. Nello with the bloody eye. Every time. He said he said he wait he waiting in the cut. He wanna come back and catch the bloody eye again, bro. <laughs> Fifty shades of BZR. <laughs> Yo, I don't even know what you tried to say right there, player. I don't even know what you tried to say. But y'all had to put the shades on, man, and try to you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what you trying to say right there, but that called me to put the shades on, man, and just act like I don't you know what I'm saying? He can't see me. <laughs> oh, you can't see me. Ah, oh, it wasn't a rank match, bro. I thought I was in rank, but I wasn't. It's all right. Uh, all right. So we got the goon squad pulled up. The goon squad leader of the goons. Pull up, goon squad. The golden gun goon. He know who I'm talking about. Gold gun goon. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Pull up gold gun goon so we can iron this shit out. So we can iron it out, cuz. Pull up. Pull up. He said he got a Nello waiting in the cup for me. Pull up. So we can iron it out. <laughs> tank, tank like the iron. Pull up, man. Finna steam press your ass. Steam press. I'm gonna hit that out. Put some starch on that motherfucker. That's how he gonna be looking when I hit him. Reverse Superman. Stiffed in a bitch. Starfed up. Starched up. That's how I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him with that starch. There he is, leader, leader of the goon squad. I'm finna start his ass up. He gonna, uh, arms gonna be locked up, CTE like a motherfucker. I 
He said he gonna beat me with Nello. He said he gonna beat me with Nello. Man, who should I give him? Who should I give him? He said he gonna beat me with Nello. You know what? This is this is an equal fight right here. This is an equal fight right here. Porter. He said he gonna beat me in six with Nello. Man, I oughta put two shades on, bro. Here, I got another set of shades. I oughta, I oughta double up, you know what I'm saying? Do it like the Mexicans do it, bro. Do it like the Mexicans do it, bro. You tripping, bro. <laughs> Mexicans do it. Put the shade on the motherfucking neck, bro. You tripping. You tripping, bro. I got the shades on and the shades on the neck. This man tripping, bro. I put the shades up here. Y'all can't really see on top of the hat. Put the shades up on the head. I ought to put two sets of shades on. This man wildin', bro. Say he gonna do me like that. <laughs> this man wildin', bro. Man, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> he says I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn Zoo. Come on, Brooklyn Zoo. Brooklyn Zoo. Brooklyn Zoo. Zoo. Every time I hit every time I hit a punch, I say, raise the flag, raise the flag. You know what I'm saying? Poncho Mexican buffet. Raise the flag, baby. Ponchos. If you know, you know. <laughs> Ponchos, baby. I need some tacos. <laughs> you know I hey man, you know I got Porter out here. It's showtime, bro. Showtime Porter out here. You know what I'm saying? Putting it on, putting it on young Nello. Putting it on this young Nello. I've been I I've been sparring with the man. I've been teaching him. I've been teaching him and teaching him and teaching him, man. And until he knock me out, until this man knocks me out, bro. He ain't learn nothing. He ain't learn nothing. It's still showtime until he knocked me out. He ain't learn nothing. Teaching him. We we fin we finna get we finna get King Dre on it. We finna get him on we finna get him on online. We finna get him online. But right now, he ain't loosen up them hands. So until he loosen up them hands and knock me out, I'ma keep flexing on him. I'ma keep flexing on him until he knock me out. Yeah, he might be. He might be, but that shit, you see, gonna send me some sauce, all right? He might be hidden on his screen, but it don't count. It don't count. You're gonna have to get your bit rate up, homie. Because you ain't tagging up nothing over here. You're gonna have to get your bit rate up.
I ain't doing nothing, cuz. Where you at? He ain't ready for me. He ain't ready for me. He ain't ready for showtime. He ain't ready for showtime. Huh? Is he ready for showtime? Is he ready? He not ready for the show. Ready for the show? I'm all up in it. I'm all up in them. <laughs> what happened? What happened, bro? You're not ready for showtime. Appreciate your tank. Appreciate your tank. Ooh, we come, come back. Come back. Hit me with a nice little counter. Pop the body, pop the body real quick. My man not ready. We gonna keep him working. We gonna keep him working out. We gonna keep him working out, bro. What's up, Dad? What's up, man? Uh, can I uh, go outside? Yes, sir. All right. We gonna keep them working though. We gonna keep them training, man. We gonna keep them training. Nah, yeah. Usually the update come out early in the morning, man. When there is one. The only time they patch late in the afternoon is when they patch the update that they fucked up early in the morning. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow morning. They come out on Tuesday sometimes. I've seen a Tuesday patch. Come on with it. with it. Pick your shots. Pick your shots. <laughs> no, there's no confirmation. <laughs> I said sometimes patches come out tomorrow on Tuesday. I ain't confirm nothing. Come on, man. Come on. He didn't cut Big Porter? He didn't cut Showtime? He didn't cut my man Showtime? It's okay. It's all good. Hey. 
Hey, I just want to notice. Have y'all guys noticed that? Um, uh, I just want to notice. I just want to ask. Have y'all guys noticed the um, the pre the pre cut damage? Like if you hit somebody and they're about to get cut, have y'all noticed the damage on the face before the cut happens? Anybody notice that other than me? Yeah, there's there's a pre-damage on the face before the cut actually opens up. You can see that the fighter is about to get cut. I guess I'm I guess I'm just out here with too much sauce, man. I guess I'm just I'm just out here with too much sauce, paying attention to it. Paying attention to it. <laughs> what is that? Is that gas right there, bro? Is that a gas station? God damn, bro. And it hit the goddamn motherfucking window. Oh, it's a notebook. <laughs> okay, you taking notes? Yeah, there's a. Uh, there's actually a. Uh, there's there's pre-cut damage. All right, I was giving y'all a second to you know, to you know chime in and say that you that you know about the pre-cut damage. You know what I'm saying? Because because bees. You know what I'm saying? People be on BZ. Ah, uh, DC again, bro. People be on BZ ass. Okay, so I was giving y'all a second to chime in on the cut on on the pre-cut damage. So, um, I've noticed, um usually off of a power punch um that's when i've noticed it most is usually off of a power punch you can see the opponent's eye socket their eye will start to turn black like their eye socket is kind of black looking and that's a, a good indicator that the cut is about to come or i noticed it in the last game that i was fighting y'all can go back and watch the video the last game that I was fighting the other Canelo, his face was a little bit, it was a little bit red kind of looking, not, not the whole face, not like how you get the whole face suntan, but he had a red mark right by his eyebrow. It was getting redder and redder right by the eyebrow and then eventually it cut. So there is like pre, there is pre-cut damage if you're really paying attention to the fighter's face. Obviously, you can only see one side of their face. You can't see the other side uh, for the most part. But if you're looking at that one side, you'll see like a, a for the uh, melanated fighters, for the black fighters, you will see their eyes start to darken and get even blacker. I know some people may not may not know that a black person can get blacker. It happens. <laughs> And you will see that that's where the cut comes the cut comes in <laughs> Pay attention to black people getting blacker in this game. Yeah, but when Nigel gets blacker he he turns into Broly When Nigel gets blacker ah, He turns into the Super Saiyan <laughs> but uh yeah when their faces get a little bit darker that's when the cut is about to come dre we're gonna fight one more time can't believe this bro we're gonna fight the goon one more time i don't know why we be having a disconnect like this bro I'm gonna try to trick. People be saying this trick don't work. I'm gonna try to trick, you know what I'm saying? And put it on uh on New York. Mm. 
Normally I turn the game off again and shit like that, but I ain't gonna turn the game off. I'm just gonna just gonna do that. Just do what I did. I ain't got time to be turning that motherfucker off. <clears throat> Alright. Man. I was on my dog. I was on showtime, but this time I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with uh Connor Ben, bro. Gotta say it how my boy Nigel Thornberry used to talk. Is that is that trick legit? Is what trick legit? So, oh, the location thing? Hey, bro, I don't know. I don't know. People, some people say that it's not legit. Some people uh, think that it is, it is legit. I did it kind of half-assed. Okay, so we missed the connection. All right, so since so since we missed the connection right there, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn it back on. Now the last the last three times, I'll put it to you like this. The the last three times that I fought Dre, we got a disconnection all three times. So this time, I put it on the New York server and I reset it to PC. I mean, I reset it the game, not the PC. And uh, and we'll see if I'm able to um, if I'm able to stay in a fight with him for the entire fight. We'll see if I'm able to if I'm able to hold on to an entire fight with Drake. Here we go. I'm sorry, already four o'clock, man. We already been on stream for for one, two, three hours. Three hours, all right. So we gonna we gonna see if we can cut if we can cut uh canelo's eye and i want you to pay attention canelo gonna be on the right side so in order for you to see the pre-cut i gotta uh, i gotta hit him in the right eye because you're not gonna be able to see it uh i gotta hit him in the left eye you're not gonna be able to see it on his right side so i gotta hit him in the on uh on his left eye all right so You ain't cutting my eye even with these things. Yeah, y'all are finna get cut, Brody. So y'all pay attention to Nello. I'm finna light up that eye, all right? Dre, I need you to block your eye because I'm finna light it up, all right? Does everybody know that his eye's finna get lit up? Everybody knows. What happened to his eye right there, bro? Bow! Busted it. Pay attention. Sometimes the cuts appear in different locations as well. I don't know if y'all been paying attention to that. You can get like a cut under under the eyebrow. You can get a cut on top of the eyebrow and one kind of on the side. On the side of the uh, eye. So they appear in different locations. They're right by the eye, but 
it ain't the same. take off my glasses so I can actually it's, it's fucking dark with these shades on I can't see uh cause like I told you on on Canelo it shows kinda like bright red like a like a bright red looking is there a plane outside? nah it's a, a lawnmower on Canelo the the eye the eye cut is kinda like a reddish or a pinkish looking right next to his uh ginger ginger eye so we'll see if we can get the pre-cut. A lot of times the cut just, you know, it just splits wide open. Yeah, I'm playing Dre. A lot of times it just happens. It's just one good punch and you just get, you don't see the pre-cut. It just opens up. But sometimes you can get the pre-cut. Yeah, I'm kind of being. He says I ain't gonna cut him, but I'm finna cut him. That was cute. You see, he slipped me. That was that was real cute. He was trying to he was trying to slip the cut. But you see the hook still coming. I'm gonna keep working on him. I'm gonna keep working on him. text messages okay okay we good we good He does it. He just don't know how flash, how, how close he came to flash KOing me right there, bro. Jesus. I was, I could have been a flash KO real easy. Right now, I got the whole side of his face red because I've been hitting it a lot.
who's the most underrated fighter in my opinion so i i guess with that question being asked you're asking like who's the most underrated fighter that can that that can win <laughs> Because you, you have to you have to be winning to be like an underrated winning fighter. You can't be like underrated and losing. That doesn't make any sense. Underrated winning fighter. Uh. Yeah, Dalton Smith's at eighty. I was gonna go with Robin uh with Robin Reed, but I believe Robin Reed is at eighty one or eighty two. So uh, yeah, like the lowest, the lowest underrated winning fighter is probably Dalton Smith. Um, this Connor Ben is a uh, he's a eighty one in middleweight. You could win fights with Connor Ben for sure. Um. I don't know about any fighters rated under, basically under 80. I'm trying to think of a, a 80 rated, a 79 or 80 rated fighter that is not Dalton Smith. Anybody know? Throw some names out at me because it's hard for me to think about that right now while I'm biting. So any, any fighters rated under 80, any weight class, fighter rated under 80. I mean, yeah, George Davy, but I wouldn't say that George George Davy's not a, a winning fighter. You definitely have to just like you would have to win the fight on your jab alone, and you wouldn't get a knockout. That's for sure. You would be uh, just you'd just be scoring points. So I wouldn't say George Davy is a winning fighter. You can win with him, but I wouldn't say that he's a winning fighter. Uh, but Porter's not rated under an under an eighty. Anybody under an eighty, and I wouldn't say that he's a winning fighter rated at an eighty either. Sean Porter, I would not say is a winning fighter. The welterweight Sean Porter is an eighty-four. So anybody under eighty? Josh Taylor's at eighty-five. And Josh Taylor is a winning, he's a winning fighter. Yeah, because people just don't like Southpaw. He's a slow fighter, but you can win with Josh Taylor for sure. He is a winning fighter. People stopped using Josh Taylor when they brought out uh, Sergio because he's a Southpaw as well. And Sergio is a faster Southpaw fighter that's a winning fighter. So he's just easier to live with than Josh Taylor is.
Yeah, it's definitely going to be a while. It's going to be a while before that roster gets massive. I think to a certain extent it is going to be the same guys. But you got to think like right now people are it's for like four four months in yeah it's the fifth month of the year it's four months in and it's only pc and it's taken four months of pc players to start picking different fighters you're now starting to see a, a few different fighters so you got to think whenever it goes to consoles whenever it fully releases everybody's going to pick the same fighters for at least let's say two months before they start picking different fighters let's just say bare minimum two months you're going to see the top fighter over and over again um it might not matter if there's no cross play but if there is cross play you're going to see the same fighter over and over again for at least two two to three months before people start figuring it out Although, maybe not. Maybe there'll be so much information on YouTube and streamers and things like that that where people will understand how to fight better by that time. Maybe, maybe it won't stay like that. I doubt it, though, because everybody still uses Roy. Because Roy is OP as fuck. So, eh, two, I think two months. Bare minimum two months is going to be nothing but... Roy when the game releases it's gonna be nothing but Roy you're gonna see a lot of Roy for a long time Okay, I'm starting to see a little something on that eye, on that right eye. Like he's already tanned really bad, but I think I see something different. I think I see that uh that cut might be might about to be coming. I did have to pick a weaker fighter versus a strong fighter, so it's making it even harder to get a cut because I just had to go and pick Connor Ben, Ben Connor, whatever. Just had to go. I just had to do it. But we'll see if we can get it in there. Caught the rock'em sock'em, man. Did you hear Canelo? He said, Oh, oh. I wonder if sound effects are indie in the fighter making noises. I wonder if that's indie any indication of being hurt. I just obviously I've heard the fighters make sounds before, but I never thought of the fighter being like, "Ooh!" If that's an indication of about to being knocked about to about to be getting knocked out. I never thought about it like that. I know the expressions, but I never thought about the fighter like yelling. Is that is that a sound cue? 
What you think? Angles you up in here? Eli, what you think? The fighter yelling. Is that a sound cue? Is that is that a damage cue? It's never crossed my mind. A vulnerability sound? Yeah, it's never like the fighters don't yell very often. They don't go ooh very often. So is that a Think that might be a vulnerability tell? Now we had a D uh, disconnect like late in the first fight. So it definitely would have been over with by now. Oh shit. Slept. Lights out, bro. That's it. My man is dead. <laughs> my man is dead ate the uppercut y'all know y'all know Nello got the big uppercut he ate it ate the uppercut bro damn Brooklyn <laughs> you gotta yell Brooklyn with the uppercut Brooklyn Brooklyn Zoo Six, 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 six. Zoo, zoo. Oh my goodness! Lights out in the eighth round. He got, he got the, you know. Connor got a glass chin. He got the glass chin, bro. Top five rappers of all time. Man, come on now. That's a, that's a, like, that's a. That's a bad list because you know what? Some people aren't, some some rappers I wouldn't even consider rappers. You know what I'm saying? Like some of these guys are not real rappers. Some of these guys are, are not, uh, they're like, you know, we got like auto-tune guys. You know, like we got T-Pains out here. We got, yeah, script readers. You know what I'm saying? We got some T-Pains out here. We got some R&B guys that are that are kind of like mixing into the group we got some freestylers out here so it depends on what you mean like what you consider a real rapper the consideration of a real rapper man this dude got me with the chin with the chin upper this guy flash me bro he ain't even live is he live right now? Yeah, entertainers. That's a good word. Script readers and entertainers. Let let me let me let me let me put some names to go with what I believe is a script reader and an entertainer. Uh, let's say a script reader. You know what? And so I'm, I'm going to get some hate for this. There's script readers, entertainers, freestylers. There's one rapper that comes to mind that somebody might say is the greatest rapper of all time. And I'm going to go ahead and put his name out there. That's Eminem. Eminem falls under the entertainer. Entertainer, script reader. He he falls under all three of those. Entertainer, script reader, um, freestyler category. He fall he follows under all three of those categories. 
I don't know if I would go with Eminem as the greatest rapper of all time. That dude, he falls he falls under those categories. <laughs> he said, if it was crazy, you wildly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't hey, first of all, wait a second. Wait a second. I didn't say that he wasn't great. I didn't say that. I did not say that he wasn't great. I did not say that. I did not say that. I did not say that. I just want to I just want to I just want to put that out there. We we started like I said, we started off you said who's the greatest who's the greatest five rappers of all time. And I said that depends on what you visualize is a rapper. And then somebody said entertainer, script reader, freestyler. I said freestyler. So those are some categories that you could put a rapper underneath. And then I said Eminem could follow, he could fall under all three categories. You, you can be, you, you absolutely can be a script reader, freestyler. You did see that Eminem has a notebook, right? He has a notebook of all his rhymes in it. You can be a freestyler, entertainer, script reader, all at the same time. A notebook is a script, right? You could you could be all three at the same time. Freestyling is is to rap without notes. Eminem can do that. He can re he can freestyle without notes. He can freestyle with his notes. He can write he can write songs. He writes his own songs. So I said that that's just one guy that falls under all the categories. The first guy that I mentioned was T Pain. I said T Pain is an entertainer. He's a, a audio person. <laughs> he said you just wanted to start a debate in the chat. Yeah, you started one, bro. So, like I said, it de it depend to me. It depends on what you what you think in your mind is a real rapper. Like it, it's it's a mental thing. <laughs> He's a go to a streamer though. I haven't I haven't been to T Pain's uh, Twitch stream, man. I haven't. I've never seen him not one time. Uh, but I would not consider T Pain a rapper. T Pain is like a singer, more than anything. I would say that he's a singer. Bartender is not a rap song. Whatever the name of that song is, the bartender. He's not a rapper. Uh. So there's a lot of people that like kind of like slipping might be trying to like slip into the category yo yo kanye nice bro kanye nice i can go ahead and put kanye on the list bro i could put kanye on the list if we just want to go with a top five i could i could i could eke in kanye right now i don't know where he is on the top five but we could put kanye on the list bro we could put kanye on the list without a doubt <laughs> Without a doubt, I could yo, I could ink in Kanye immediately. I don't know if you put him one or five, but that dude is on the list. <laughs> yo, Kevin Gates, yo, I don't know where you would put Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates might not be on a top five list, but Kevin Gates is on a motherfucking list. Kevin Gates is on a fucking list. <laughs> I don't know if he meets a top five list, but that dude is hilarious. Kevin Gates, <laughs> Kevin Gates is number 69 on my list. <laughs> he is hilarious. Kevin Gates is on a list. What list is he on? I don't know. That man is on a fucking list. <laughs> Kevin Gates is freaky to the motherfucker, bro. What's that? What's that song that he got that <laughs> on the Marvel flows? <laughs> 
got it too. What's that song? Kevin Gates is a freaky, nasty motherfucker, bro. I like that, dude. <laughs> I like me some Kevin Gates, man. Hey. Where you at? Where that motherfucking goon at, bro? Tell that goon to come back here, bro. Where that goon at? King Dre. Where that goon at? Tell him to come back here, man. He done flash KO me and then just slipped off into the darkness and shit. Bring that ass here. Okay, who we got? We got Jay-Z, Nas. Hey, man. If y'all wasn't listening to Nas in the 90s, bro, you don't know shit about Nas, yo. Yo, Nas is out there, bro. Jay-Z, Nas, Tupac, Kanye, Lil Wayne. Probably my top five. And see, look. Look here. I got some mixed feelings about Wayne. About Wayne as well. I ain't, I ain't gonna, hey bro, I'm not singling nobody out, but I got mixed feelings about Wayne because Wayne is a badass rapper, don't get me wrong, but Wayne has ventured out of rap. So you might say that 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 Wayne had, you know, he has all these like, you know, he's been on the Billboard charts, you know, here, there, everywhere, but Wayne has ventured out. He's not just a rapper. He's a cat in a hat rapper. A <laughs> cat in a hat. <laughs> Crazy. Leaned out of his mind. Uh, so I have mixed feelings about Wayne. Cause cause anytime that you say Wayne, people are gonna yeah, people are gonna they're gonna get like a big Wayne has a big serving sample. Yeah, Eminem is the same way. There was a the early Eminem and a later Eminem. There was a mid-range Eminem. And uh I, I I would agree with you. The old Wayne, the the OG Wayne, Wayne Wayne from Hot Boys was was the rapper Wayne, Wayne from Hot Boys. 500 degrees, that Wayne, that's a rapper. Um, some of this new Wayne stuff, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he said, hard to be good when you're limited on things that you can say. You know what? Oh, okay. He coming out with the big guns now. You know what? I somewhat I somewhat agree with that statement. Hard to be good when you're limited on things that you can say. But I seen I seen a uh I seen a little uh, a little skit or a little special. Um I think it was uh Cat Williams that said Cat Williams said that uh some of these comedians say that it's hard to be funny with uh with being limited on things that you could say and cat williams made a point that no those guys just weren't funny in the first place they was never funny uh was was basically the uh long story short of what cat williams said Um So I'm not going I'm not going to say that uh I so like I said I somewhat agree with that somewhat Somewhat agree with that Um Yeah, you know, you could you could be funny or you could make some real funny jokes on some things that are politically incorrect you could you could do it you could still make the same joke or make the same raps 
Hey, we're not we're not gonna push that yet. Yeah, don't push that through. Don't do that. Yeah, we'll keep yeah, we're gonna keep that block. Hey uh Hey, you can't say that, bro. You can't say that, Spook. Don't don't uh don't put that in there, bro. That's not good. You can't you can't do that. <clears throat> that's that's literally that's literally what we're talking about right now. We're li we're literally we're literally talking about what you can say and what you can't say. That's one of those you cannot say type things. We're literally talking about that. You can't do that. <laughs> I I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to go uh I'm not going to go too too much more deep into that bro i'm just i'm just gonna say nah i'm just gonna say that that's something that you can't the way that you wrote that sentence you can't do that that's about all i'm gonna that's all all i'm gonna speak on it I mean, yeah, you could, you could, you could say whatever you want to say, uh, all day long. It's, you know, this is America, bro. You, you can say whatever you want to say. You're just gonna get banned. That's what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could, you could say whatever you want to say on your rap song. You could make you a, a, a underground, underground rap tape. You know what I'm saying? You can say whatever you want to say. You can say whatever you want to say on YouTube. Or whatever but you you will get banned you will get you will get canceled you will you will people will not see what you're saying because nobody you're gonna get censored is what's gonna happen you will get censored and you said it and you got censored so that's why I'm saying you can't say that because you're gonna continuously get censored and you'll get banned So uh, that's about all I got to say on that. Uh, uh, anyways, angles. I liked your uh, your I liked your top five. Um, about the only thing that I didn't like uh, that I disagreed with on the top five is maybe Wayne, Wayne, and I'm not a big fan of Jay Z. That's just my personal opinion. I'm not a big fan of Jay Z. But I like the uh your Nas pick. You pick Nas. You pick Jay Z Nas. What'd you pick? You said Jay Z, Nas, Wayne. Uh, who else? Tell me your top five again. Jay Z, Nas, Wayne, Kanye, Kanye, Pac. See, you know, Pac's really good too, but I don't think we had a big enough. I don't think we had a big enough uh sample size. You know, he died too young. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we had a big enough sample size for uh for Pac to you know be be in the goat discussion like that you know what i'm saying like that's just my personal opinion he didn't have a big enough sample size and that, that's the same reason why i kind of throw i kind of put wayne out of there because we don't have a big enough sample size of you know the 500 degree wayne you know what i'm saying wayne started venturing into other stuff kind of the same way i said about eminem as well he kind of like venturing into other stuff type things so uh but i put man you know what that the same thing could be said about all those rappers bro you know what to be to be honest the same thing could be said about nas the same thing could be said about jay-z uh and even kanye kanye is not the same rapper that he that he was um could be said about all of them people grow right people grow when they change every day right i'm not the same fighter i was four months ago so let me see let's try to throw that let's try to throw that out of there i would say if we throw that that uh bias that i had out of there that is a really good top five list that's a really good list i just don't like jay-z i personally don't like jay-z I like Kanye, I like Wayne, I like Nas. I personally don't like Jay-Z. 
That's a really good list. I would take Jay-Z off that list and put Eminem on that list. How about that? I don't got nothing against Eminem. I would take Jay-Z off the list and put M on the list. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I feel about that. <laughs> he said, "Jada Kid smoke all of them. I don't care. Anyone at me, <laughs> yo, John with the smoke. John with the smoke, bro." <laughs> he said, "At me, cuz at me." The only the only thing that I liked from Jay Z was Big Pimpin', bro. That's the only song I liked from Jay Z was Big Pimpin'. Jay Z was wilding when he had the big ass yacht and all the females and shit on the yacht. Talking about some big pippet. I was like, yo, he was going crazy in that music video. That's the only one I like. I only like big pippet. Swagger like us, I like I like that one. But that was that had everybody in that motherfucker song. I had Wayne and everybody in that bitch. I, I really I don't fuck with Jay Z. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Like I'm a hater. I'm just gonna tell you like that. I'm a hater when it comes to Jay Z. I'm a hater. Fuck it. I'm a hater, bro. I'm a Jay-Z hater. I ain't got to hide. I'm a hater. I'm a Jay-Z hater and a Soldier Boy supporter. That's just how I feel. But I did but you won't see me you won't see me say Soldier Boy is a top 5 rapper, bro. <laughs> Hell nah. You won't see me say Soldier Boy is a top 5 rapper even though I'm a Soldier Boy supporter. Even though Soldier Boy is like way up there on the Billboard charts and all that bullshit with changing the industry and all that shit, you won't see me say that he's a top five rapper. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I'm a Jay Z hater, Soldier Boy supporter. Yeah, he started a lot of trends, a lot. But uh, ooh, I caught him. I caught you with a nasty one, bro. A nasty one. You was almost up out of there. You was showing all your teeth. I almost sent him to Jesus with one punch. Oh, my man rocking them uppercuts, bro. My man rocking them uppers. Yeah, started a lot of trends, but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a straight, I'm a Jay Z hater, bro. I'm just, I'll keep it 100, bro. I'm a, I'm. <laughs> he said I made Drake. <laughs> oh man, soldier said I made Drake. That was a funny ass interview on the breast on the Breakfast Club, bro. Anybody that didn't see The Breakfast Club with Soldier Boy, you gotta watch it, bro. You gotta watch it. Drake! (laughs) 
<laughs> oh my god. Yo, so Soldier had to fix his motherfucking glasses or whatever. He had the motherfucking glasses on. That nigga was like, Drake? Drake? <laughs> what did he say? The nigga the one the hottest kid from the world? In in the world from his kids? <laughs> I made Drake. He stole my whole flow. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, soldier be killing me, man. Gucci bandana. Gucci, Gucci bandana. Gucci bandana. <laughs> he be killing me, man. That dude, soldier is an entertainer. The very definition of an entertainer, bro. That he, soldier is a clown. He be entertaining. He is a clown, bro. But I love every minute of it, man. I, I like that shit. That shit makes. That shit makes me laugh. I love that shit. Nah, bro. I, I just uh, followed him. I just followed him. I seen he was playing World of Warcraft the other day. And I, I watched it for a little bit. But he wasn't really talking a whole lot. Alright, Angle, since you coming up in here, starting shit, yo, like, uh, you said top five rappers, yo, give, give me your, your top five movies of all time, top five movies, and it better not be, like, five fucking Marvel movies that, that end with, uh, with, uh, fucking, <laughs> whatever, whatever the name of that Marvel movie was, <laughs> that ends with Thanos, it better not end with motherfucking Thanos, <laughs> And did you ever watch A Place Beyond the Pines, bro? Did you ever watch Nightcrawler and A Place Beyond the Pines? I gave you two movies to watch like two months ago. A Place Beyond the Pines and Nightcrawler. Did you ever check it out? Ah, oh, come on. Come on, man. Some classics, bro. Some classics. Uh oh, here goes Spook. Inception, Man of Steel, Interstellar, The Irishman, Fantastic Beast. All right, Spook. I'm I'm not just gonna I'm not gonna like like pimp slap you up out of here. I'm not gonna like backhand you up out of here. Some of those made sense. Some of those is 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 trash. So we just gonna we just gonna touch on trash okay that's what we're gonna touch we're gonna touch on bro uh man of steel which man of steel is you talking about man of steel got to get up out of there and fantastic beast got to get up out of there man of steel and fantastic beast got to get up out of there bro i can't those those two Gotta go. Interstellar was a great movie. The Iron, the uh, the Irishman was great. Inception was great. Man of Steel and Fantastic Beasts gotta get the fuck on, bro. You gotta give me two different movies, bro. Spook. You gotta replace Man of Steel. In Inception, you got it. Yeah, you got. I mean, not Inception, but Man is Still and Fantastic Beast. Give me two other ones. Oh shit! I barely ducked that hoe.
Damn, give me a second, bro. Don't fuck kids at my door and shit. Give me a second, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, that Superman, that one was good. The Hen the Henry Cavill one, it was good. Uh, but I don't think that it was one of the greatest movies of all time. I don't think so. I don't I, I wouldn't like superhero movies. Come on, man. It was a really good movie. It was a really good movie as far as superheroes go and shit like that, but come on now. Yeah, I said I said top five greatest movies of all time. That's what I said. Did I say something different? I might have said something different. My bad. Top five greatest movies of all time. That's why I was like, yo, that one got to get up out of there. Greatest movies of all time. Green Mal, man, I remember the first time I seen Green Mal, bro, like, that movie right there, if that movie didn't move something in your gut, bro, that moved something in, in me as a person, bro, the first time I seen Green Mal, that movie moves you, bro. I haven't seen that, A Beautiful Mind. I have not seen that. I might have to check it out. You say it's one of the top five of all time. I might have to check it out. Saucing competitor or getting sauce buddy. Come on, man. This dude just uppercutted me, gave me the Flash KO uppercut. He not gonna do it again. <laughs> Harlem Knights. <laughs> he shot me in my pinky toe. Wait, wait. That wasn't was that that wasn't Harlem Knights. But Harlem Knights was good. Yo, when he pulled, he said, yo, he had big balls and put the balls on the table. Bumpy Johnson. Put the balls on the table. Boy, I tell you. I said, I'm forgetting somebody. Yeah, I'm fighting Dre. You, you forgot yourself. It was quiet in the car. Yeah, you, for, you forgot your whole self. What's up, Woozilla? <laughs> With the baby pistol. <laughs> Ooh, Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven was what? Hey, man, that's a good one, bro. Ocean's Eleven. Man, hell no, nah. Blade Runner, boy. That that movie, fuck no, Blade Runner. That movie was a whole bunch of just like that dude just staring at the screen, bro. Like that was. That was a waste of my life, man. There was so many scenes that were just like the dude just standing there, like completely, complete. Oh, Saving Private Ryan. Y'all remember when that came out? Yo, Saving Private Ryan was. Yo, Interstellar, bro. For for the people up in here, if you ain't seen Interstellar, if you if you haven't seen 
Yeah, the reboot one. The reboot one was bad, bro. The newest, the newest Blade Runner was bad. If you haven't seen Interstellar, bro, Interstellar is a crazy good movie. Oh, the old Blade Runner. Okay, okay. I thought you was talking about the new Blade Runner. The new Blade Runner was awful. He says, the Warriors come out and play. Man, get that Rocky out of here, bro. Man say a Rocky. Not even entertaining that. What some somebody gave me a list. I missed it because I went to go. Oh, here we go. J Surge said Lord of the Rings. Hold up. Let me go. Let me go back up there and read what J Surge said. I missed it. He said Lord of the Rings, Troy. Troy is a good movie, but uh, I don't know. Wolf on Wall Street, Benjamin Button, The Dark Knight. <laughs> Wait a second, what kind of list is that? What kind of list is that? Did you, he was trolling me, man. I'm not even. I'm not even going. I'm not even going there. He trolled me with that list. Forrest Gump, Goodfellas, The Dark Knight, Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith. What? God damn it, I can't read it. Hey, put that put that list up there again. Who that that list I was just reading. Type it again because it keep people keep typing and it keep knocking the list down. Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, The Dark Knight. What what did you put on that list? Y'all guys putting these superhero movies on that list. Yo, the Lost Boys. Okay, Forrest Gump, Goodfellas, The Dark Knight, Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, The Goonies, Fast and Come on, bro. Fast and Furious one? You trolling me with that list. Forrest Gump, Forrest Gump is legit. Goodfellas is legit. I gotta, di I gotta dismiss the Dark Knight. I, I love that movie though. I love that movie, but I gotta dismiss it. You, t Christopher Nolan, the, the trilogy. Nah, I got, I gotta dismiss that. I got to, I gotta dismiss it. I love the movie. I love it, but I can't put it up as. as as a, a greatest movie of all time, I can't do it. Yeah, like I ain't, and I ain't hating on Heath Ledger's Joker performance. Heath Ledger's Joker performance was amazing, but what about the rest of the movie? You know what I'm saying? What about? Everything else that was in the movie. It was a Batman movie. The new Batman movie was really good. It's really good. Yes, it is. Very good. But it's not. It's still not in in the top five. Even the original Batman movie was was really good. The '90s version, but it's still not a top five. Um. He said the crow. The Crow. That's an interesting pick. That's a very interesting pick. The Crow. Bruce Lee's son played in The Crow. Died in the movie on the set. Uh-oh. Here we come. Here we go. Poetic Justice. Boys in the Hood. Menace to Society. Friday in the Goodfellas. He bringing out, he bringing out black movies. <laughs> Pulp Fiction, <laughs> all the Kill man. Bills, quit playing. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm a hey, Pulp Fiction and and New Jack City, Pulp Fiction and the original Kill Bill. Kill Bill Two was good, but 
I don't think two is as good as one. Reservoir Dogs is, yeah, that's hot. That's fire. That's fire. Yeah, we're not going anywhere with water or anything. Do I need those? Mm. Mm. Love you. Love you too. I'm going to go pick my All right, baby. Oh, no, I was talking about her. Juice. <laughs> Aliens, Predator, very relevant. He said Friday got to be up there. Look, we gonna put we gonna put Friday in there for the culture, man. For the culture, you know what I'm saying? We gonna put Friday in there. The greatest, the greatest iPhone movie ever made. If iPhones were out back then, uh. Ice Cube would have made that movie with a fucking iPhone. <laughs> we gonna have to, we gonna have to put Friday in there for the culture, bro. You talking about, you talking about a, mo a movie that changed that a movie Friday's like a cult classic that changed half baked. <laughs> I got mind control over Debo. Friday is like a movie that changed the expectations of like how much money you had to spend on a movie to make it a good movie. You know what I'm saying? Like Friday, Friday kind of like changed the. Yo, for yeah, for those of y'all that ain't watched The Irishman, The Irishman, that's a good fucking movie. The Irishman is a good fucking movie. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I be quiet. When he leaving, I be talking again. Yeah, the Irishman is legit. If y'all ain't seen the Irishman, put that on your motherfucking list. The, Ir the Irishman is, is legit. I want to I kill you so bad to make my dick go hard. <laughs> I threw in good fellas for uh, Won't Be Right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, he put, he put in all the black movies. I noticed that list was like all the black movies. I was like, okay, okay. Uh, what y'all think about uh, what y'all think about Full Metal Jacket? What you got? What you got on Full Metal Jacket, y'all? Huh? What about Full Metal Jacket? Huh? Yeah, Full Metal Jacket. That what I'm talking about. The roll house. <laughs> Man, somebody gonna say dirty dancing in this bitch in a minute, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna say roll house. They're gonna say they're gonna say dirty dancing and ghost. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say ghost. Somebody gonna say dirty dancing and ghost. I knew it. <laughs> Oh my god. Ghost Ghost was a nice little love movie, a nice little love story, you know what I'm saying? Ghost Ghost was nice Ghost was a nice little love story. You know, I think I think Ghost caught me at the right age. It caught when I watched Ghost, it caught me at the right age. Man, shut up, nigga. Talk about some sister act, sister act two. Go, Ghost definitely, definitely could be perceived as cringe. I'm gonna say go, Ghost caught me at like the right age and the right like blend of things. So when I was you know, when I was real, real young, around like seven, eight years old, uh, when I was real, real young, about seven, eight years old, one of my, one of my first best friends was white. Obviously his mama was white and she really liked the movie Ghost and that's how I seen it. You know what I'm saying? So I was, you know, I wasn't always in a black household. You know, one of my, one of my, my first best friend was actually Hispanic, uh, and then my next best friend was white 
So I wasn't always in, you know, just like a black household. I would go over to my Hispanic friend's house and I would go over to my white friend's house all the time. And I think ghosts caught me at the right at the right time. And I kind of was seeing things from different angles and things like that. Yo, Gladiator was fire, bro. Gladiator was fire. Training day. Yeah, come on, man. You know, training day up there, man. Yo, we we need to have an official list, man. We need to we need to get get somebody to put an official list up there, bro. We need an official list. You know what? Matrix Matrix was great, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? Matrix got fucked. That's what happened. They should have just made one Matrix and just ended that shit, bro. They shit. They shit on the Matrix. It should have been one Matrix and and nothing else. They shit on that movie. J Serge, you have got to be trolling me right now. You have got to be trolling me. You have got to be trolling me. I can't even comment on that. He said he a fan of all the Underworld movies. You know what? I like all the Resident Evils. I like all the Resident Evil movies. I like all the re I like all Resident Evil, bro. <laughs> all Resident Evil. <laughs> all of them, bro. Yup, Resident Evil. Uh, you know what? Look, I love, I love Blade. I love Blade. You try to go back and watch that shit right now, bro? That shit look like trash, bro. The last dragon. <laughs> you try to go back and watch Blade right now? That shit is, that shit is trash, bro. Um... And, and hold up. And was it, yo, you try to go back and watch Blade right now? I'm going to tell you about Blade. Even when, even when they said white chicks. <laughs> yo, that might have been one of the Wayans Brothers' best movies ever. We ain't going to talk about the greatest movies ever for everybody in the world. But for the Wayans Brothers, yo, that was, that was goaded for them. For the Wayans brothers. Yo, Twister. Yo, Twister's fire, bro. I had Twister on DVD. The sound effects in Twister was crazy. I remember going to the to the uh to the drive-in movie theaters. Uh J Surge, you you in the area. You remember the Astro? J Surge? I remember going to the Astro and watching Twister at the Astro. We about the same age in the same area. You been to the Astro back in the day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a... Uh... Astro was cool, man. I remember the drive-in movie theaters and the uh that was that was a really good one. Twister. <laughs> Why is there clapping going on in the movie? <laughs> White chicks, uh Yeah, yeah, uh, Devil's Rejects, yeah, Devil's Rejects was crazy, man, the Rob Zombie shit, yo, that was the, mo the movies with the bad guys win, bro, yeah, that's, that's crazy when the bad guys are winning, that's wild. We're going to get us a rank match in. I'm going to get locked in, y'all. We're going to get a rank match in. Let me lock in.
you know what? Before I do a rain match, you know what I'm gonna do? Before I do a rain match, I'm gonna do a quick match. Dre said he got all the black movies. <clears throat> oh, man. Going to the cars don't count as a win anymore. Roger that, roger that. <laughs> it traumatized you? Uh, I'm thinking, if I'm thinking of the right movie, yeah, I think, um, I think I had, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think if you ever been in a, if I'm thinking of the, hold on, let me. Oh yeah, the drive by at the end. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, um, I think if you ever been in a street fight, in a real life street fight, bro, that's about just as traumatizing as the end of Menace to Society. I saw some new toes. <laughs> Nasty. If you've been in a real life street fight, man, in the 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 real the like if you were. Sometimes things are happening so fast you can't think. But if you ever been in a real life street fight and you had a chance to think while you were in a street fight, um, that's pretty traumatizing. Braveheart's nice. Braveheart. That's pretty traumatizing. So I had a real life street fight before I watched Menace to Society. So I kind of already knew how Menace to Society was going to end. Because I, I I was I was in a real life street fight before that, so I kind of knew how it was gonna go down. Um, some I I don't know. Maybe some people are, are not a you know not a not aware of that. How about top series? Top series. What is top series? Oh, TV shows. Say, man, Game of Thrones, bro. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah, Spartacus was wild, bro. It was. <laughs> Game of Thrones. What are you talking about me, dude? <laughs> I wasn't shaking in the car and shit. <laughs> I ain't never I said the street fight man I ain't never been in no damn drive by what the hell <laughs> I ain't never been in no motherfucking drive by when you finish that I'll tell you about coming to America a life house party Nah, I'm just saying, like, when I said I was talking about man, society, oh, yeah, yeah. When when I was talking about it, and I said real life street fight, you know what I'm saying? Like, got into a fight with a dude that was, that was way bigger than me, you know what I'm saying? Way bigger than me. And I probably told this story to a couple of y'all before, man. And I realized that I couldn't kill the guy, you know what I'm saying? In the middle of the street fight, I'm like, oh, I can't kill this dude. So I'm like, I'm going to have to let him go. And when I let that nigga go, boy, he picked me up, bro. He picked me up in the air and dropped my ass on the side of a concrete basketball court, bro. On the side of the concrete basketball court. Nigga hit that concrete chest first. Boom. I hopped up and ran to my grandmama's house so motherfucking fast. I was like, yeah, bro. 
I was like, yeah, bro. I understand exactly what my grandmama was talking about. <laughs> I understood exactly. I understood right then and there. I got a reality check like a motherfucker right then and there. <laughs> Face off. <laughs> Face off is so hard to watch right now. If you were to go back and watch Face Off right now, so hard to watch. Gone in 60 seconds. Yo. But when Face Off came out, if you went to the movie theaters and saw Face Off, that was a great fucking movie at the time that it came out. That was a great fucking movie. So was Gone in 60 seconds. But we showing our age. We old in a bitch talking about some Face Off and Gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> Six cents. <laughs> We old in a bitch. That was a good movie too. If you saw that movie in theaters, Six Sense was a good movie. We old in a motherfucker right now. I could name all these movies off to my kids and they'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about kids that are like 15 years old. They'd be like, I ain't never even heard of that shit. 15, some. Yeah, man. Top Top Gun was fly, bro. When when uh, and that's been Top Gun's been said a whole lot. <laughs> he said Home Alone. Yo, Home Home Alone is a is a kid classic, man. Home Alone. Christmas Story. There we go. There we go. Christmas Story. Said a Bronx tale. Here, here we go. Here we go with this Brooklyn guy. <laughs> Yo, okay, okay. Fight, hey, Fight Club, and what was that other one? Heat. Yo, you you going way back with Heat, bro? You going way back with Heat? You going way back with Heat? Fight Club. Yo, what had a crazier twist? Fight Club or Six Sense? Fight Club or Six Sense? What had the craziest twist? Which one? What movie was crazier? Fight Club or Six Sense? Let's put it to a vote. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Same concept. So, but which one? Which one got you? Which one got you? Yeah, so which which one tricked you in the mind? Which one which movie had you tricked? Which movie had you tricked the most? Was it Sixth Sense or was it or was it Fight Club? Six cents, six cents, alright. Alright, six cents. We got we got the we got two votes for six cents. Anybody else? Anybody got a vote for Fight Club? <laughs> he said just cause he sees dead people. <laughs> What you mean he see dead people? He was dead though. American Pie. Man, American Pie was also was also a cult classic, man. Cult classic, you know, like you ain't grew up with no American Pie. The Stigler.
<laughs> BET Uncut. <laughs> Yo, you you grew up being nasty, bro. <laughs> You you remember you remember watching uh he said he he said he remember BT uh cut you remember uh one night in Paris that's a good one he remember that song tell me what that thing smell like what's that song how that song go uh King Dre what's the name of that song. I know Dre. I know Dre know that song. That was on. That was on that BET on uh, uh, cut. What's up, Chris? What's good, baby? All the IP Man movies, yo. IP Man got you wanna got you wanna go outside and learn Wing Chun immediately. You trying to learn all the. You try to wing chung, nigga. <laughs> tip drill? Nah, nah, not tip drill, bro. Nah, I can't think of. I, I forgot how that song go. I want uh. It was Black Jesus. That was a song. Some. It was something like I, I wanna. I wanna freak tonight. So tell me what that thing smell like. What it smell like. What it tastes like when I hit it right. <laughs> that shit was on the BET uncut. Black Jesus. He had all the he had all the girls walking into the party. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he would. I can't even say it, man. I got I got I got my my kids up in here. I can't even say that out loud, bro. All the girls walking into the party. You were getting the smell. I can't even. I can't even say it, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, black black snake moan was crazy. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. What's I up? just finished my ASL two course. Uh -huh. No more languages for me. No more languages. My friend just said hi. Hello, friend. <laughs> I do not know the name of the friend, so you'll just be hello, friend. Her name's Janae. Janae. Yeah. Hello, Janae. <laughs> she said hi there, sir. Who goes there? <laughs> Hello, mate. Uh, yeah, Black Snake Moan was wild, bro. Did, did Dre say bad boys? Yo, Black Snake Moan was like one. I don't know who. Mm, lay you. I don't know who. Who in their right mind thought up the script for Black Snake Moan? I don't know who thought up that script, but that that was a crazy script. Like, who thought? Like, yeah, I'm gonna make this story. <laughs> Good day, mate. Oi. Ain't that, ain't that how they say it? Oi. Oi. Good day, mate. Oi. Yeah, yo. <laughs> oh, he's like, yeah, it's like a oh, Die Hard classic. I wasn't a fan of Die Hards. I ain't gonna lie. That new movie, Air, is really good. I haven't seen it. I have not seen Air. I don't think I have. What's Air about? I've, he I've heard of it. I've heard the name Air, but I can't. 
I don't know if I've seen it. I don't think I have. Oh, okay, yeah, I haven't seen that. Haven't seen it. I was thinking of something totally different. Legend. Uh, yeah, I remember Sim Sin City, bro. I didn't I didn't like Sin City, bro. I really didn't. I remember being excited to go see it and I I did not like Sin City. I liked I Am Legend. I didn't really I didn't really mess with the watchman that much. What about what about speed? What y'all know about speed? Somebody put heat on here. I said, what about speed, huh? <laughs> Point break. Oh, that sounds yeah, the bus can't stop. <laughs> Point break. God, that sounds really familiar. Nah, man. Keanu Reeves was young than the motherfucking speed, bro. If you go back and watch him, Keanu Reeves and, uh, what's that girl name? Uh, I can't think of her name right now. Them motherfuckers was young as hell. Cassandra Bullock. Keanu Reeves and Cassandra Bullock, two motherfuckers that did not age ever in life. Cassandra Bullock, you know, they starting to look a little, they starting to show their age a little bit, but these motherfuckers like 60 years old, ain't they? Yeah, San Sandra Bullock. Put black on her name, Cassandra. <laughs> yeah, Sandra Bullock. I put the, I put that's the black girl version. If you white, you you Sandra. If you're black, you're Cassandra. You know what I'm saying? It's two di those two different people, Cassandra and Sandra. Sandra is the white girl. Cassandra is the black girl. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Future, right? Everybody's still waiting on hoverboards. Don't lie. Don't lie. Everybody is still waiting on a fucking hoverboard. Tell me you're not waiting on a hoverboard. You a motherfucking liar, bro. The, the, the lace of Nikes, they out. We got we got the Nikes. The, the Nikes is out. We want the hoverboard. I mean, technically, hoverboards are out too. But, uh... They're pretty expensive and... And, uh... They're, pro they're pretty hard to pilot. 
He said after the segue, I don't even want to touch a hoverboard. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. They got, they actually have, if y'all Google it, they actually have some companies that are making real, real hoverboards. Um, but they're more like, some of them are kind of like some type of magnetic thing they're trying to make. Like a magnetic board. And then other hoverboards are more like, uh, how do you put it? They're more like a, uh, like a drone that you could stand on. Like a standing drone. Yeah, Ghostbusters was a shit. Ghostbusters was a shit for sure. The party, aye, aye. <laughs> you ain't the only one, bro. Like, shit just be coming out nowadays, bro. But the shit come out nowadays is like, like shit be coming out, but it's like, yo, you gotta have like motherfucking $10,000 type shit to be, you know, be using cutting edge technology. I guess it's always been that way. Things have always been expensive. Let's keep it real. When 3DO came out back in the day, what, 3DO was like $600 or something like that, wasn't it? The original 3DO system? And $600 was a shitload of money in, I believe it was the 80s? Uh, 80s, early, late 80s, early 90s? That was a shitload of money. It was, it was early 90s, early 90s. It wasn't the 80s, it was early 90s. Cause I'm trying to think, when did CDs come out? It was early 90s and 3DO was a fuckload of money. Man, you, I mean, some of us is old enough to remember when gas was under a dollar. I wasn't driving then, but my mom would have me pump the gas for her. And I remember looking at the, at the pump. I remember looking at the pump and thinking, uh, okay, gas is, I think gas was like 80 something cents, 80 to 90 cents in the early nineties. Okay. Yeah. 75 cents. I remember looking at the pump when I was a kid cause I pumped the gas for my mom and it was not a dollar. And we're talking about a 3DO with 600, it was $600 at the time gas was less than a dollar. 600. That's a fuckload of money. If you really, if you really think about it, like we, I wasn't an adult at that time, but if you're telling me that I need gas to go to work, you telling me I need gas to go to work and you telling me in order to play a 3DO, I got to spend $600? That's that's fucking outrageous. I just won't be playing the 3DO. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, I gotta go to work. I got some gas money. Said gas in Australia is two eighty five at the moment, a dollar ninety American. Shit, you can't get no gas for a dollar ninety around here. In no part of America, I don't know where the fuck they got a dollar ninety gas in America. I know, I know you're saying it's it, it equal to a dollar and ninety cents American dollars. I know that's what you're saying. I know you're not saying the gas costs a dollar ninety. You're saying it's equal to that, but yeah. Ain't no fucking way, bro. Yo, Angles, you up in here? Angles. Well, yeah, $1.90. <laughs> uh, 
I haven't seen a dollar ninety in eight. It was eighteen years. The year that I started working, the year that I started working, that was the year the gas the gas spiked. The year that I started working, that was eighteen years ago. Uh, what's the price of gas in California? What's the price of gas, bro? He gonna say some motherfucking ten dollars, some crazy, bro. Five twenty, god damn. Five twenty. Woo! That shit hiding the bitch. That hiding giraffe pussy. Yeah, that was uh for me. I started working eighteen years ago. That was two thousand and five when I started working it. When I, when I started working in 2005 that's when the gas spiked that year yeah bro premium is not five dollars in texas i think premium i haven't bought no gas in a minute when i was driving my jag it was premium and i haven't been on my motorcycle i put premium gas in my harley i think premiums like i think i ain't even paid attention to the price of gas i think premium gas is like uh Three dollars and some change? It's not four dollars. It's less than four dollars. Yeah, I don't have a jag. I don't have it anymore. I used to have a jag. Yeah, I think it's three dollars and some change. Like right around three bucks. Oh my god, four eighty. It. He said been robbing niggas since 06 That what I was saying Now gas spiked the first year I started working That was 05 I, I remember I was driving in uh, Six and sevens That's crazy Cause I remember in 05 In 05 my dad gave me his truck and my dad gave me a 92 GMC uh, Sierra 2500 with a long bed. It had a 32 gallon gas tank on that on that GMC Sierra. 32 gallon gas tank. I remember I stopped driving that Sierra. I stopped driving that Sierra pretty soon. I believe 32 gallons. And I drive pretty far to work. I drive uh, about 20, 25 miles to work. That Sierra was costing me like 80 bucks a week. Or well, not 80 bucks a week, 80 bucks a tank. The tank wouldn't even last a whole week. It was costing me 80 bucks. Yeah, I live in the woods. No, I don't. I don't live in the woods, Dre. You just haven't left um, that island. You haven't left the island that you live on. I don't live in the woods. I just don't live on an island. I'm not surrounded by water. <laughs> Texas is set up a little bit different than uh, New York. It's a... Uh, you should travel. You should travel, Dre. Texas, <laughs> y'all should travel, man. Uh, Texas is set up way different than uh, those major cities that y'all uh, live in. It's not the same thing. But yeah, it's 25 miles. Uh, we don't have, we have bad traffic, but it ain't, it ain't like the traffic that's in california or new york or whatever like new york i'm surprised people even have cars in new york there's no place to park yeah texas is a little bit different
depends. <laughs> yeah, it depends on where you're at. LA is the worst. Yeah, I mean now if you're if you're in doubt, I'm gonna fly out to Texas. <laughs> Yo, I would say that you couldn't flash KO me from from anywhere in the world, but you literally just flash KO'd me. So I'm gonna let you have that. I'm gonna let you have that. <laughs> I'll let you have it. I, I normally would say that would never ever happen, but you, it just happened. So for today, for today, you can have that. See him out here with the fresh Bambi legs. With the fresh ass Bambi legs. It's clean. <laughs> this is close. This fight is not close. I haven't even been paying attention to this fight, but I know this fight is not close. I think I know. I thought I saw the cards and I was winning like like six, seven rounds or some shit like that. I think I think the last time I looked at the cards it said eighty nine to eighty or some shit like that. Oh, you said I'm this close. I thought you said this is close. If you don't go to the gym, Undisputed won't get an update for another month. Joe, go to the gym right now. Do legs and arms today, Joe. Legs and arms in the same day. We need you to do some cross training workout, man. Cross training. I need you to do legs, arms, abs. I need full body workout because I need my patch by the time you leave the gym. I need my patch. Netcode, I thought I was getting four new fighters. <laughs> you see that hook? Did you see that netcode hook? Man, just give me my four new fighters, bro. Just give me four bantamweight. Give me four bantamweight fighters that I can't use online, please. Can I get? Can I get a bantamweight, featherweight, and cruiserweight fighters, please? I need some cruiserweight fighters. Some of y'all don't even know what there's a cruiserweight weight class at all. Can we get some new female fighters in the game? We need some more female fighters. Yeah, I need I need the heavyweight woman's division, please. Can I get a heavyweight woman's division and um four new cruiserweight fighters? Four new cruiserweight fighters, heavyweight woman's division. Um please add fighters to uh the featherweight and bantamweight division. Um Anything else, guys? All right, we're finna get ranked. We're finna get ranked, man. It's already like five freaking, almost six o'clock, bro. We're finna get ranked.
<laughs> I'm out here killing people. I think I don't I'm not killing nobody unless it's a rank if it's a rank kill, it's a real kill. If it's a rank kill. Outside of that, it's not a real kill. Bro, I'm finna fuck somebody up, bro. I'm gonna rank kill him with I'm gonna rank kill him with Sugar Ray. I can see it right now, bro. I'm gonna rank kill him with Sugar Ray. Is y'all ready? Is you ready, cuz? Is you ready, cuz? I'm gonna rank kill him with Sugar Ray. One second. to get in a goodie bag over here my wife had a goodie bag bro she gonna be mad in the bitch bro you gonna hear her she gonna come in and be yelling at me i got all off in the goodie bag she finna be mad as hell bro look i got this uh piece of bread i don't even know what is some sweet bread She had some hot Frito bean dip. You know I got the Coke. And then I grabbed the uh pizza pizza uh Pringles. A little snack little snack bag. I got the little snack, the little snack. Junk food special, you know what I'm saying? The streamer special. Yeah, a little something light. Yeah, yeah. DF Dub, babe. I'm in Dallas. I'm in the Dallas area. I'm not in Dallas. I'm in the Dallas area. I'm in the Metroplex. What's up, Lou? My in laws have a restaurant in the colony. Oh, that's right next door, bro. The colony is only like five minutes away from me. What's the restaurant? Italian? Let me go eat there, bro. What's the what's the name of the restaurant? And like five, my wife love to go out to eat. Take her out to eat that, at that restaurant, bro. Tony's Pizza and Pasta. Bet we're gonna have a lunch date at Tony's. A dinner date. She, my wife, love pasta. They're right down the street from me. Been there 20 years. You know that sound. You know what? That sounds very familiar, bro. Let me uh, let me Google that real quick. That sounds very familiar. Let me Google it real quick. Tony Pizza and Pasta, the colony, says it right here.
see the directions. Okay, yeah, that's not that far. That's not that far at all. Oh, shit. I'm eating these snacks and my wife is about to go on a road trip. She might have bought these snacks for her road trip. Oh, fuck. I just realized that. Oh, shit. She's going to be really mad at me. She's going to be really mad at me that I'm I'm off in this bean dip, bro, and this is for the road trip. Oh, shit. I forgot all about it. But it tastes good in the bitch, though. Bro, I'm gonna get yelled at for real, bro. I'm gonna get yelled at. She should have told me. I forgot all about it. I'm gonna hide it, bro. I gotta hide. Put up the evidence. <laughs> she gonna get that belt man we gonna find out who's really undisputed around this motherfucker we gonna find out who's undisputed oh my goodness I forgot bro I really did I really did I didn't even think about it until I was already dipping in that thing It's bad. It's bad for her, anyways. This shit. She got. She got bad snacks, man. I'm trying to keep her alive. She got these snacks. that's gonna kill her, bro. I had to save her life. I had to save her life, bro. <laughs> I know it was good with the coke. <laughs> I know it was good with that coke. Yeah, bro. I had to kill it up. I had already mixed the snack, bro. I already had the potion. Quit playing. I already got the. Fuck it, bro. Sometimes you just gotta take an L, bro. Sometimes you just gotta take an L. Bro, why the fuck I get out here with a fucking Sergio, bro? Fucking Sergio. Full send it, baby. Bro, I am fucked. I am fucked, bro. Why the fuck did I show up with Sugar Ray Leonard? Versus goddamn Sergio, bro. I am absolutely fucked. I gotta pace myself. I gotta pace myself real bad, bro. I gotta pace myself. Sergio gonna eat me alive.
bro i have to pace myself bro i gotta pace myself a lot man this gonna be i gotta i gotta go 12 rounds with this sergio bro <clears throat> I'm not expecting a knockout at all. Not even close. Not even close to a fucking knockout, bro. If anybody's gonna get knocked out, it's gonna be me. God damn. Say he trying to go to the body of power. I would take him deep rounds. Yeah, yeah. I gotta take. I gotta take him all the way deep, man. Cause uh, shit. You uh, tank. You ought to know. You know that. You ought to know. You already know the tech, tank. I ain't gotta give you the sauce. I'm pretty sure you know the sauce, bro. I'm pretty sure you might know. You might not know the sauce. But um, there's a reason why I can't. I can't go toe to toe with this uh. Sergio I gotta chill out big time at the end of the day guys this game is a boxing simulator it is a simulator You're going to simulate getting knocked the fuck out if you don't play this bitch right. So oh, this is not a good matchup for um, Sugar Ray Leonard and uh, Sergio. This is not a good matchup on Sugar Ray Leonard's side. This is basically like like fighting fucking Roy Jones. It's not a very good matchup. beat the fuck out of me that round bro shit
Shit, he didn't want none at the end of that. He didn't want none. I think I, I think I heard him. Shit, I hit him with a couple. I hit him with a couple, and I could tell as soon as I caught him, I caught him with some body jabs. He like, he was like, uh-uh, he didn't want none. Yeah, he backed up a bit, cause uh, cause this game, this fight's gonna be heavy, heavy simulation, bro. Just because the fighters aren't, the the fighters are not matched up very well. And if you don't know that, you'll get knocked out. These fighters don't match up very well. Cause Sergio's like kind of at the top of the food chain and Sugar Ray Leonard is not. But that doesn't mean it. Sugar Ray is not dangerous. It's very dangerous. You just got to fight different. Shitload of lag. <laughs> Fuck. So the last thing I needed to do is take take those fucking uppercuts at the end of the round. Ah, right, damn. Fucker. Caught him, caught him. Caught him again. Ooh, that was a good round. That was a good round. That was a good round. Fuck. Sergio on my ass, bro. This is not... That was a good round, but like this fight against Sergio, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna gas me out by probably... Probably before I get to the twelfth round, I'll be gassed out in the in the tenth and the eleventh. He gonna gas me out. I'm trying to gas him first. He gonna this dude's gonna fuck me up, bro. Fuck. 
fuck. This is a gas round. Fucking A. God damn, and he's on me hard too. Fuck this, bro. I'd rather take face. I'd rather get beat up in the face than on my body right now. This is not good. like 70 something in the 70s <clears throat> and there's a reason why I'm fighting like this if you want to know uh, Joe I'll let you in on some of this on some of this sauce. It's the reason why is because the way Sergio's built. Yeah, I'll let you know what's up with this what what's up with the situation. There's a reason why. Sergio is Sergio is basically uh was <laughs> Sergio like if you if you're if you're gonna slug you <clears throat> how do I put this? You are not going to win a, a slug it out fight versus Sergio with Sugar Ray Leonard. The only person that can really is really going to go toe to toe slug it out with Sergio in in middleweight. We talking about the middleweight Sergio is like is like Roy Jones basically. Everybody else, you're going to have to use a little bit of common sense. You're going to have to use a little bit of sauce to beat them. Or maybe or more, maybe Carl Froch. Carl Froch can go toe to toe with him. But you're not gonna you're not gonna slug it out with Sergio in middleweight. Yeah. Lightning hands could kind of offset that fight a little bit. But yeah, Ser Sergio's definitely a tank. Like, there's certain shit that you can't... Certain fight styles that you can't do with Sergio, bro. I'm telling you, one thing you can't do, you can't just go full gas, all gas, no brakes against Sergio. You're, you're going to lose. I want to see I want to see it one day to be honest what you want to see I want you to see it. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let this the fight you had with the Sergio. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna let the Sergio fuck me up, bro. I gotta go the long way with this dude. I'm trying to get my points, and I gotta go the long way with this guy, bro. I'm not fighting this Sergio until the 10th and the 12th round. 
You're gonna see me try to slug it out with them in a 10th and a 12. God damn. I don't know, bro. If you just saw what I saw, I can't take no punches in this motherfucking round. <laughs> I like that, bro. That's fire. I like that 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 healthy mode. That shit is badass. Fuck. Oh my god, I'm just trying to stay alive, bro. I'm at 66%. I'm trying to stay alive. 60, 66 on the stam, 47 on the health. Fuck, bro. I'm just trying to have a little bit. I'm winning. I'm up three points. I'm up. I just got to stay alive. See, I'm telling you, y'all see the tech? I'm showing y'all the tech on this Sergio, bro. I'm showing y'all the tech, bro. You can't, you can't power the Sergio, bro. Not in middleweight. You can't power him in middleweight. Bad idea. You gotta take him deep. You gotta take him deep, man. It's looking like I could knock him out, man. I, I like the way the camera's looking. It's looking like if I just punch him, he'd get flash KO'd. I don't know. I'm getting a weird, a weird vibe from the camera. The camera is like on some flash KO type shit, bro. But I don't see any openings just yet. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see it? Does, it? does it look funny to y'all? I'm getting a vibe like I could flash KO this guy. Whoa. I just gotta stay alive, homie. 39 and 60. 39 and 60. I got the dub, bro. I just gotta stay alive. Was that that was round eleven? I think that was eleven. I think this guy might pull a plug on me, bro. I think he might plug me, bro. He thinking about it right now. He thinking about hitting hitting the lag switch. Just under the desk, right? Ain't that where it's at, Dre? He thinking about getting under the desk. 
By the way, my computer is over here behind the, behind the, the camera. My computer is actually behind the camera. So I don't, I don't got no lag switch under the desk. I don't got no pedals or nothing like that. Round 11. Nah, player. You're not finna knock me out. I'm not going to sleep in the 11th round. I promise you. I plan on staying awake. I plan on staying awake, Sergio. Quit playing with me. I'm staying awake, Sergio. Dude is on my ass, bro. Ah. Phenomenal. I'm going to get this dub. I'm going to get this dub. I, at first, I was extremely worried that I wasn't going to be able to beat the Sergio. But I think I got him, bro. Unless I have the only card that has me winning and the other two cards have me losing, which has been happening a lot lately, the other two cards could have me losing. Those are some strong words. Strong words, you little foul mouth boy. Potty mouth.
Oh yeah, baby. I got him. I got him. Yeah. He thought he was going to get me. He thought she was going to come in here and get me. Yeah, BZ got the sauce, baby. BZ got the sauce. He thought he was gonna come in here and he he tried to he tried to bulldoze me, he tried to bulldog me the whole fight, bro. He was running up on me, tried to pump me. Tried to pump me the whole fight, bro. The whole fight. Nah. Not right here. In fact, the card that I was looking at, the card that they showed me was the worst card. I had the top card. I had the card with uh, Jonathan Ricks that showed me losing the second and the third round. But in actual fact, if I had had any of these cards down here, I would have been very confident because it had me winning round one and two. One and two. If I had seen the one and two, I would have been, been even more confident than what I was on the top card. Uh, it, showed, it showed me one, uh, one versus one to two. And then I didn't see another another card until round seven that showed it three three three, basically. And then after that, I knew I was winning. After I got to the the tenth round, I knew I was winning. But shit, y'all see y'all see the tech right there. Y'all see the tech right there. Go ahead, pay attention. Look. Go ahead, pay attention. Look at it. Look at it. Y'all see the tech right there. Look at it. 199 on the body. 143 on the body for him. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, look at it. 38, 22. 22, 23. Check the tag. Check the tag. Had to do what I had to do. Had to do what I had to do to, to secure the dub. And you see and you see the check marks right there. More more blocks, more counters. More power punches, which he didn't throw no powers at all. He didn't throw any powers because I because I got him in a bad spot. If you want to know the sauce, you know what? I shouldn't tell you the sauce tank because you whooped my ass in the tournament, bro. And I wanted to beat you so fucking bad. Ooh. Ah. Ah. I wanted to beat him so bad. And he whooped my ass in the tournament. You telling that man no tick. <laughs> I got my nine points though. Got my little nine points. Whoop the Sergio. Joe from the John, you want another tick? Tank, I can't tell you shit. Nah, I know if I tell Joe, Joe gonna tell Tank, and then Tank gonna whoop my ass with it and be like, ha ha, I got friends too. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Now y'all wanna know, I'll let y'all I'll, I'll know. I'll let y'all know the tech, bro. That, that was very, very specific to that fight. Very, very specific. And you know what I'll take, bro? I'll take... I'll take fighting a Southpaw over, over fighting a Philly Shell any day, bro. He said I'm selling the sauce for $200. God damn. <laughs> what kind of sauce packs you got, bro? Shit. $200 sauce packs? Fuck. You got that BZ sauce pack. Shit. I need, to, I need to raise the price on my shit. I've been selling my shit too too cheap, bro. I've been selling my shit way too cheap. Yeah, the BZ brand, bro. I need to, I need to, shit. I need to change the little BZ logo. Hold on. We got the BZ brand right there. The BZ brand is like be, uh, uh, green and red. You know what I'm saying? I need to change that bitch to like gold and platinum or something like that to be selling $200 sauce. Fuck, I need a platinum BZ. I need that bitch to have diamonds in that hole. BZ chain.
Yeah, I'm, I'm middleweight right now. That's what I did. I just won a middle a middleweight rank fight against the Sergio. I was I was Sugar Ray Leonard and beat him against Sergio. Oh, you in the queue? You want to fight me? That's what you're trying to say. He said he want to fight me. Oh, I think they like me. Uh, you could be whoever you want to be, bro. I'm queued up. I'm going to be Sugar Ray Leonard again. I'm queued up, baby. I'm queued up. <laughs> queued up, baby. Fight anybody. He said, we got it. I'm up against Eli. That's what he said. Uh-oh. It ain't my fault. Uh-oh. It's uh, it's BZ versus the Eli. He got the Dark Destroyer. I think that's his name, the Dark Destroyer. He got the Black Broly versus Sugar Ray. Let's get it. Damn, that man immediately got my boy hurt. Immediately. I I <laughs> He said not my style but I'm gonna walk you down. Tenfold Roger that 
Let's get to walking. Let's get to walking, baby. I never did that. We did good. We did good. I got cut already. Ah, damn, I got cut already. I seen the cut happen. I was hoping it was him and not me. good it's not good bro my bro bro in trouble bro uh oh Eli done got on his ass bro Eli done got on his ass Eli got on his ass that round, bro. Shit. Eli got on that boy ass. It's okay. It's just one round. It's just one round. Tied up. Yo, I think I was telling y'all earlier, you could see a pre-cut. I believe that Eli has a pre-cut on his right eye. If you look at his right eye, I'm trying to look at it. It's pretty, you know, the Dark Destroyer is pretty black. But I think you can see the cut about to happen on his right eye. Could be wrong, but I got to pay attention to the fight.
shit. They are fucking me up, bro. I gotta get him back. I gotta find a way to get him back, bro. He fucking me up. He like doing whatever he wanna do right now. I gotta fuck him up. I can't let him do what he wanna do. He was fucking me up. I can't let him do what he want to do. Right directional. I notice get me cut a lot. Something I'm noticing. Well, directional punches in general. Yeah, directional punches in general will get you cut. Um, but now nah, he just bust me up due to just a raw strength. He was able to bust me up. Um, some first round shit. So I gotta punish him. I see what Eli doing, and I got to punish him, bro. I can't let him just fucking steamroll me. I'm not going to tell everything that's going on in this fight. At this moment, I'll wait till the fight's over with. But he got me in a fucked up situation. I'll tell you that right now. He got me in a fucked up situation. So I had to, I had to fight back. I ain't going to let him just do whatever the fuck he want to do to me. lag came up heavy I seen the motherfucking lag bar come up hella heavy he says when he's close I'll avoid that check hook <laughs> okay you, you've, you've noticed you've noticed that check hook is fucking me you've noticed I try to uh I try to compensate but uh he immediately punched me when I was trying to compensate so I'm just in trouble in a shitty a really shitty part of the fight fuck fucking cut me man bad I'm in a bad part of the fight bro fuck it's too early for this shit
fuck? God damn it. Uh, want me to show you vids of the sauce? Nah, I, I don't think you're going to KO me, man. I think, I think I'm going to have a stoppage in the fight. I think that's what's going to happen. Outside of the fight stoppage, I think I I think I'll win. If the fight don't stop, I think I'll beat him. Maybe so. Right now, I feel like he got a he got a lucky fucking cut on me, bro. He got a lucky cut on me, and I'm trying to fucking survive this cut, bro. Fuck. Not around here, Eli. Not around here, bro. Not around here. Eli being good, he been good. Eli being good, that's how I met. That's how I ran into Eli. He was so motherfucking good. The first time he pulled up in the chat, I was like, "Yeah, I got a fight with this dude on a daily." He been good since the first day. I, first day I met him. But right now, I'm struggling with the cut, man. The cut is a problem. He caught me with that motherfucker, bro. He's finna, he's finna stop the goddamn fight, bro. That's some bullshit, bro. He caught me with that right hook. What a lucky fucking cut, bro. What a lucky cut. God damn. Are you kidding me, bro? Man, shut that shit up, bro. You know damn well. Outside of that cut... Look look at the look at these stats. I'm winning. 69, 64, 68, 65, 67, 66. Outside of that cut, I'm winning. Damn it. That shit was lucky as fuck. I seen it coming, bro, because I think I got cut early late round 1 and by the middle of round 2, it was a level 2 cut. And I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't deal with the cut because, uh, obviously, you know, you know, early in the fight, the, the fighters have the most power, and he had a lot of power in the first two rounds, and he was check hooking the shit out of me, and I couldn't deal with it, and that's why the cut got, the cut got out of control. It got out of hand early in the fight, and there was nothing I could do. Yeah. Fuck, man. Damn it, Eli. Tired of your ass. Now, what sauce is you talking about, bro? Stigma. Jump in a private video for a second. The hell is a private? Send me the video. What is a private video? Come on with it, Stigma. Come on with it. Tell me what you got.
Yeah, I was mean. I was meaning to uh, say that to everybody. I was like, "Yo, you can get cut off the uppercut, which is weird." But I, I guess you know if the if it misses your face or whatever, you can get. I don't know how the game says that you're gonna get cut off the uppercut, but I've noticed that the chin uppercut can give somebody a cut. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are. Yeah, you got to if you use that shit, you got to use it the right way. You got to be patient. You got to be patient when you're fighting, man, especially just uh You just got to be patient overall, bro. Just be patient with the fight. Have a fight strategy, have a plan. Be patient with your strategy and stick and stick to it. Be patient and stick to it. Yo, thank you for the sub. I don't know what's up with my uh what's with that, bro? Like I got I got a sub indicator, but I can't it didn't tell me who subbed. I don't know why all of a sudden my alerts are not working properly. It just says that I got a sub. Okay, thank you, Stigma. Uh thank you for the sub, bro. Um Damn it, bro. I was on your ass, Eli. I was going to get you, bro. I have a I have a feeling I was going to beat you that fight. But the cut fucking stopped me, bro. And the cut is a part of the game. So a L is a L, bro. The L, yeah. I had, yeah, I had the level that, yeah, of course. It was a stoppage. That's the only way you can get a stoppage is it has to be level four. If it. Where am I going to see the sauce at, Stigma? I'm waiting for answers. What's up, baby? Could you sign this real quick? What you got right here? 88 in um, English 2 honors. <laughs> so this is just one class? Yeah, it's just one class. It's for my English 2 honors. Missing assignments, young lady. Those have already been turned in. It's Missing like assignments, <laughs> young lady. They've already you been are a professional student. A professional. Oh, yeah, you on stream. <laughs> you on stream. You are a professional college student. With, you know what I'm saying? You finna be a professional college student. And you have really good grades, but I see two missing assignments that would easily make your grades way better if you didn't have two missing assignments. I see two missing assignments, two. I don't even know what that purals of indifference is, for real. You don't know what it is because no. you missed it. <laughs> That's why you don't know what it is. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, clearly you didn't turn it in. Her dog ate her homework. <laughs> Missing Unless you ate my whole iPad, you didn't eat my homework. <laughs> Missing assignment looking at. Boy, I tell you, that's where your black showed up. <laughs> miss, miss. You know, brothers show up late. <sighs> you know what? <laughs> They're minor grades anyways. I'm not tripping. Minor <laughs> grades? I don't trip about the minor grades. Better trip about all grades. <laughs> professional student there you go love you <laughs> I'm gonna have a uh, I'm passing her class with an A right now though yes yes cause this is old oh that's old yeah okay okay she just wants it turned in so bad she keeps on nagging me about it like, get alright did sign. you get your awards signed I got my awards signed by Miss Hines I need to go find Miss Flanders so she can sign it her okay. side. Okay. Um. The man got me for five points, five SP points, with his lucky cut ass. Now, Sigma, Sigma, I am asking you, where are you showing me? You said we need a private video chat on Discord. Well, message me, Sigma.
where i haven't got i haven't gotten a message from you yet sigma where are you at? oh there it is there it is all right i'm gonna have to mute y'all for a second
It's going good. All right, we back. Stream's going good. Okay, so. We was discussing the sauce. All right, we're going to go back into rank. Um, and, you know, I had came into middleweight, like, I came into middleweight dogging uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, man. And because uh, I was getting knocked out with Sugar Ray Leonard. I was having real a real tough time playing Sugar Ray Leonard in uh, in this uh, game, you know what I'm saying, in middleweight because of the way he moves and stuff like that. But uh, got a little bit better, uh, better understanding, um, you know, just being more patient and more, more and more boxing experience, more and more understanding. And you just got to know, like, some guys – you can fight early. Some guys, you got to take them late. Come on, man. This same dude. God dang, bro. You tried your brownies yet? Uh, no, nah, I tried the, this cookie, man. This cookie was good. I, I didn't realize it was stuffed. I was like, what the heck? I bit in it. It was a stuffed cookie. <laughs> uh, It... it it would work with Canelo uh, stigma. The problem is, is Canelo's foot speed, bro. That's Canelo's biggest problem, is he can't get to the point of attack. So you have to change your whole fight style to deal with Canelo. You have to change your whole fight style to, to be able to pilot that guy. bad i was all tabbed i got this guy again bro this dude is definitely stream sniping me he's definitely like this is the only guy i keep getting the same fighter he's definitely stream sniping me It's one of y'all guys, bro. One of y'all guys is out here stream sniping you. I bet it's somebody I talk to. Somebody somebody is trolling the fuck out of me. Somebody up in this chat room to talk to me. I don't think I don't think that it's a, a stream sniper that's like a nameless stream sniper. I think it's somebody I know. They got the dummy account, bro. Somebody out here stream sniping me. It's okay.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Sauce bender in the building. We got us a sauce bender. Red alert, red alert. Somebody been in the lab. Somebody been in the lab. Red alert. Let's see what that man got to say. Let's see what that man got to say. He'll tell me. I think he'll either he'll either DM me or he'll uh or he'll tell it to the whole stream, one or the other. Or maybe he won't. Maybe he'll just keep it to himself and be whooping my ass. <laughs> We did good, we did good. Think we I think we in line for another dub versus Beetle. Check my DM. Which DM am I looking at? Discord, Twitch. Alright. Maybe the phone. <laughs> oh, I gave him. We got the sauce real bad right there, bro. Maybe the Skype. Sauce is man up right there. This shit back right there. Microsoft Teams, uh, damn, not Teams. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, where my DM at? Here it is. Had to refresh the DM. Uh oh. I like I like when I like when the DM starts out. It's incredibly simple.
Oh, <laughs> yeah, that that I know, that I know. I can add a little bit more more to that for you. You're definitely on the right track. You're on the right track with that, Lou. Add a little. I can add a little bit more to you so you can be uh, consistent. Consistently win it. <laughs> nah, they just backpedal because they don't know how to fight forward. And people that complain about backpedaling don't know how to fight a backpedaling fighter. So, it's a... Uh, It's a little bit goofy on both sides. Yeah, the secret of the game, man, is just to be like, like if there was any just like real secret, be accurate, like know how to land your punches. If there was any like just real, real secret, know how to land your punches. Obviously, if you don't know how to land your punches, you can't be good at the game. So know how to land your punches. Go into the fight with a strategy, however you determine whatever your strategy is. I'm not here to tell you how to fight. Determine what your strategy is going to be. And then learn how to bait somebody into what you're trying to do. That would be, that'd be the last part. Like you got a strategy, but nobody's just going to allow you to beat the fuck out of them. So you're going to have to mix in something to bait somebody into your strategy You know, you have to get inside of your opponents and you have to get inside of their inside of their head, inside of their their psyche, you know, with what you know, what you don't know. Don't, you know, like don't expose everything that you know in the first round of the fight. You have to you have to mentally defeat them before you physically defeat them. There's definitely more than one way to mentally defeat somebody. Yo, Dad. Yes, ma'am. Try this chicken strip. Uh. That tastes like Chick Fil A chicken donut. Mmm. Yup. That's the off bread chicken strips that mom bought. <laughs> right value? Mm -hmm. They use are great. <laughs> Roger that.
whoops threw some extra punches in there some extra ones <clears throat> all right I keep pairing up with the same guy. This should be a ranked fight. I think this guy is. I think he's um, stream sniping me, bro. Like he's watching the stream, and every time I queue up, he queues up. Whatever I'm doing, he does the same thing. He queues up. So I don't know why he's stream sniping me, or like why he wants to fight me every day. Cause this has become an everyday occurrence. I fought this guy like at least like three or four days in a row. Again, for those that don't know how to get KOs, I'm showing you how to KO somebody right here. This is literally as live as it gets on how to how to get your KO. As literally as live as it gets on how to get your KO. This guy's a real fighter. I got him hurt. I got him in a zone. Now you have to determine for yourself. You're going to have to learn how to determine for yourself when to smell blood. I realize this guy is hurt. And then, uh, and, uh, you'll, and you can just, you know, you'll just know for yourself on how to, you have to determine when the guy's hurt. And then, I'm gonna show you like we're what we're doing right now. I'm gonna show you how to get the KO. 
All right. Just pay attention. Pay attention to what I'm doing. This isn't that hard. Why I'm resting, you see me stop in between my punches, is because I'm letting my stamina get back up to full stamina. Okay, that's why I'm stopping. Obviously, you want your punches to be, you know, full, full strength. I'm not moving very much. He's not moving. I'm not moving because I'm just waiting on my stamina. He's not moving because, I don't know, he just doesn't want to move. But I'm doing what it takes to knock him out. That was a lot of exchanges right there. I'm surprised he has that much, that much stamina left. And he could punch that much. So we're not gonna go for the KO. He's got all he's got a lot of he's got a lot of energy left. So we're working on that body some more right now. I'm very surprised he like he swung like 15, 20 fucking times. Like he had a full stand bar. Surprised that uh he has that much stamina, so just go back to working the body. Let me see if I can, if I can rock him early. Doesn't look like it. He's timing me pretty good. Oh, I got some pretty good shots off right there. Got a nice wake up power. Oh yeah. I caught him. If y'all seen if y'all seen what's going on, I caught him right there. It doesn't take that much, bro. Say what they do, man. Shit, they go to sleep, Seminole. Seminole Slim, they sleep. That's what they be doing. They be snoozing on BZ. I'm, I'm I'm putting out the tech on how to get the KO. I'm putting out the tech. I got the man's hurt. He hurt, whether he got stamina or not. He hurt, and all it take is a good is a good head shot. I'm gonna let you figure it out for yourself what a good head shot is. And you see that right there? You see that right there? I gave that man's a good head shot. Brow, brow. He ain't no good no more. I don't care what kind of chin he got. Animanium, vibranium. Black chin, white chin, Mexican chin, chinny chin, chin. Polar bear with red hair. The man's is hurt, bro. He's hurt. Now all you gotta do is zone him out. You know, this type of zoning out, this is what Ryan Garcia should have did, bro. Ryan Garcia should have had Tank balled up just like that. He should have stayed on, stayed flat footed. Don't go over the top. You see, he's bothered because he's short and he can't reach. As a long fighter, all you gotta do is don't go over the top. He's bothered. As a long fighter, all you gotta do is don't go over the top. Don't, don't let your feet go too far. Let your hands go. That's all you had to do is just let your hands go, not your feet. I 
I'm gonna sit on it. He down low because he don't want to get hit. I'm gonna sit on it. Sit on it. I'm not worried about him down low. He's not very he's not very mobile, you know what I'm saying? Like ain't nothing he could really do. When you get that low. So what I do? See that right there? Forehead. Forehead. See how I do it? See how I do it? Forehead. 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 Be patient. Be patient. That's all you have to do is be patient, bro. Be patient. Oh, look at that. The last round. The last round I was 0-0 zero, zero or 10-10. Ten, ten. It didn't matter. Oh, yo ass, BZ. Oh, yo ass. Hold up, player. We gave me them 12 points. Gave me them 12 points. Let me check the leaderboard. I got to be top 100 now. I got to be top 100 now. Let me check the leaderboard. He said that forehead tech crazy. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to duck me and shit. Don't go over the top. Stay back. Forehead. 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 Stay back, bro. Don't go over the top. Where BZ at? Uh-oh, BZR is ranked 100, 100, that's where BZR is, 100, we see the man Angles TV sitting right there at 98, BZR at the 100, we see, we see the man's schisms, schisms is right here at 83, schisms, BZR just hit page 5 baby, page 5. We got J Lo sitting up there, page four, rank sixty nine. All right, my man said he want to fight Simo Slim. You better be ready, homie. Here we go. You better be ready. Time is it? We got some hours on this motherfucker. Some hours. I'm gonna take it easy, but that don't mean it's gonna be easy, bro. He said, I ain't about to get spanked. 
He said no spankings up in her. Man, you ever seen a man with a deep ass voice get spanked? Well, you about to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you you were stuck with that deep voice since the ninth grade. Give him the big Nigel. You know what I'm saying? The Dark Destroyer. I'm going to give him the big Nigel. Ah! The Destroyer. Versus Sugar Ray Leonard. You wasn't here for a similar slam, but we going to see if I could cut you. Somebody cut me just a few minutes ago when I was pissed off man he cut me early in the fight so now i gotta cut you back it was the same matchup it was the same matchup i got cut not exactly not exactly on how on, on how it's possible it's possible i know but i'm gonna say it was a lucky cut I'm going to say it was lucky. I'm going to say it was a lucky ass cut. That's what I'm going to say. I mean, this really ain't no tech. If he cut me, he already told me, told it to the, to the, to the stream, bro. If he cut me, he cut me off an of uppercut. There's multiple ways to get cut. You could get cut by directionals. Yeah, yeah, it froze up, bro. You can get cut by directionals. All different types of, you know, powers, directionals. Basically, you can get cut. There's so many different ways that you could get cut. But basically, like, if you hit somebody at an angle, you're likely to get cut. An angle plus, you know, if you got a lot of stamina, a lot of strength or whatever, you're likely to get cut early on. We just got to hit somebody at the, the right place and time, bro. A cut, hitting somebody, you know, cutting somebody, man, is low key. Like, if you do it early enough in a fight, cutting somebody is like, is damn near like a flash KO. The way he did it to me so smooth, bro. It was late first round going in the second round, man. When you get cut like that, if you really, uh, if you really, you know, slugging it out. It don't take much to finish somebody off. Yeah, he cut he cut me early, bro, and then he just kept piling it on. I was trying to block it and shit. I think the fight was over with by like the sixth or the seventh round. I was trying to like block it so that he couldn't he couldn't keep hitting me with that motherfucker. He just kept whoop. Won't, won't, just piling it on, bro. It was nothing I could do. He he cut me late first round and went to a level two cut in the second round. I think by like the the fourth round or so, I could feel it like open up again. And then by like the fifth. I think it was the fifth round. The ref comes out and looks at it. I'm like, fuck. 
I know it's over with. And then one round later, I think it was like the sixth or the seventh round, he catches me with the first the first big right hand. Boom. Split that bitch wide open. The ref says no more. Stoppage. Yeah, bro, you have to. Yeah, once you get cut, man, it change up your whole fight style. Either either you're going to block the cut and get beat the fuck up, or you're going to let the dude just, just stop the fight by punching you in the cut. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really don't have very many options. Like, I tried to block the cut, but then, boom, he beating up my body and everything else. Like, I, you can only protect one area. I think he already has a cut. I kind of... It's hard to see it, but there's like a pre-cut look to it. I think he's already got one. He just ate that hook. I don't know why he just ate that hook, man. He just stood there and I was like, brah. He just ate that right hook. I'll look at him real quick. Look at him real quick. I don't see nothing on him. I don't see nothing on his face or nothing like that. I've been trying to get to a situation where I can show people the, the pre-cut. Doing out here, man, showing all your teeth and shit, man. Knock all that shit out.
What's up? Alright, y'all better not eat up all y'all food and snacks and shit. Mama gonna be gone for like seven to nine days. Y'all gonna be looking crazy on day three. I didn't buy this. Alright. And, and mom didn't buy Ivan. It came from my party at school. Okay, I was just saying. I know she I know she got a lot of snacks and stuff now. Yeah, we haven't been eating none of it. Yeah, y'all got y'all get to having a good time. And she ain't even left yet, boy. Y'all gonna be looking crazy. I'm gonna tell y'all to get some of that some of that atmosphere. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. For what? For what? Nah, for a funeral. A funeral? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's going all the way out to South Carolina, right? Yeah. I feel bad for people because a lot of people are losing people this month. Yeah. The older you get, the more likely it is for you to see a funeral. My teacher's husband just lost his grandfather, so she's not uh, probably not gonna be at school tomorrow. She has to attend his funeral. Uh, that's the part. The bad part about growing, getting old. It just happens. People start dying. Everybody don't live, you know, some people die young, they they don't live to see everybody else die around them. Blessing and a curse. Because since now you didn't live to see everybody else die around you, you didn't live to experience what you needed to. Teachers had died young at my school. 35. Ooh, that's young. 35 was young. Yeah, it was Mr. Dominguez. What happened to him? Um, it was after school, because you know, like we have after school help, right? Yeah, he died like, on the job? Uh uh. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, that's even worse. <laughs> Go ahead. He died right down the street from the school, though. Oh, man. So, uh, he was a Spanish teacher and he was staying after school to help out his students. Right. Once all the students left, he packed up his things and he was a biker. He rode bikes just like he was on his Harley. And on the intersection that's right down the street from the school, this old lady hit him and he died in the hospital with his injuries. Oh, that sucks. Has to be careful when you're riding. Mm -hmm. She had T bone him. Guys, to be careful when you ride. And the drivers also have to be mindful of their um, bikers around them. They should be, but they're not going to die. The person that's going to die is the biker, so guys, to be careful. I've noticed way more people dying in the past uh, year. Oh, you took the power chin uppercut. A lot of people in my uh, what's it called? Uh, in my vicinity have died. People that <laughs> said my, in my vicinity. My vicinity, because not not everybody that I know know has died, but everybody who is usually around me, like Mr. Dominguez, was at my school. Mm -hmm. Dead. One of my coworkers dead. Mm -hmm. Family member dead. Teacher family members dead. Man, what's a future family member? I said teacher. Oh. I was like a future one. What the hell? Like dead kids going on around here? What's going on? So far, I haven't heard of any kids dying. I'm good. I'm glad about that. But the youngest person who's died so far was 25. Damn. I know another one of my 
co-workers had got shot. I don't know if he's dead, though. Ain't no gun violence. Mm -hmm. Motorcycle place, violence. Time. Shit. That's what, that's, that's what it says. I don't think there's ever the right place. You can get shot anywhere, right? It's never a, good, a right place to get shot. Yeah, but he was at the wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. He opened fire if he got shot. Yeah, they be tripping. Like recently, just two weeks ago, there's a female, a black female. Rachel. Yeah, she was tripping. <laughs> she was. Ran our school. She had lists of kids. Lists. Yeah. Not one. <laughs> she three. was just trying to get anybody. She was extra tripping. She had three lists of people. Why, yo, anybody want to die today? Got this list. You likely own it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people were on it. And a lot of people yeah. I know that was on it. Uh, she had she had a list like it was the, everybody that went to school and shit. She had like Dean's list. 2,000 kids at our, our school. She had three lists. Students on That's a big chunk of kids. Right. Anybody with the A honor roll want to go down? <laughs> <laughs> No, because our some uh, of y'all flunking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, what, you know what's crazy? Our rank, our rank one in class ranks, rank one isn't Kilo, but our rank two is at Harmon. That's Eric Dion. That dude be on some bulk. <laughs> Every day he comes to school with a new story about this girl or dude that's messing with him. And he over here jumping kids with other kids. So like, oh, rank two is on this? Nah, bro. I don't think I want that to be my solitarian of my class. Mm -hmm. That's not a good look, Eric. Not a good look. Fix it. <laughs> Fix it. Fix it. It'd be nice, but unfortunately in real life, people just don't be fixing stuff. They be, they be flawing it. You know what I'm saying? Flawed. Flawing it. I don't know how rank two be, be on bullcrap like that, but rank two is. Should it be the best people be. Be out here not giving a fuck. I wonder what rank one like. <laughs> I need to meet rank one if rank two like this. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, back to back critical hooks. But my rank that how you rank. feel? A whole lot of kids that were at a higher rank than me started failing this year. So my rank is going to go flying up next year. I'm going to zoom all the way up there. <laughs> I'm going to be in the double digits instead of the triple digits. <laughs> what happens? You got to wait your turn sometimes. Wait your turn. A lot of the kids in my school, they're smart, but they started slacking, and they, they're falling way behind. So now they ain't smart no more. Yeah. <laughs> they started procrastinating. It's a long race. It's a long race, man. It's a long race. I'm just waiting on them to update that class rank next year. And I shoot up to, like, what, 99? <laughs> what? Yeah. Class is 1,048 students. 1,048? Yep. Between three campuses, there's 1,048 students who are sophomores. There's way more freshmen, though. It's about 9,000 students. He going students down. Total. How many? It's about 9,000 students total. Dad, damn. <laughs> Between the three campuses. That's, that sounds like a whole lot of child support, man. Shit. <laughs> 9,000 kids. Sheesh. Right now, I'm like 235 of my class.
that makes me top 22%. What rank? What what number you say it was? I know I'm rank two thirty five. Yeah, oh, that's pretty damn good. Two thirty five. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna shoot up because these students are lacking. One of my friends who is ranked two thirty, she's failing classes with tens. Ten. A ten. I'm like, whoa. Yep. I'm passing you up next year. Because <laughs> she was going strong at the beginning. Yeah. That's when she got five ranks up me. For real? And she, <laughs> she slapped off bad. Bad? Yeah. That's not the word. <laughs> well, I'm taking your rank there. And a few more people. Here. And you're going to drop all the way down to last place for that grade. For real? Bad is like, you know, 72. Zero is beyond bad. <laughs> it means that you did not try. You did not attend. I don't know what's going on at home with her, but like at the very beginning of the year, she was going strong. And towards the middle, she started sleeping a lot in class. Like, oh, yeah? Yeah. something at home might be going on yeah probably probably boys i'll talk to a boy all night long you supposed to be up doing your grades and shit supposed to be a career student you know what that means your career hope <laughs> <laughs> Telling it like it is, shit. Goodbye. I'm just telling it like it is, man. Goodbye. Shit, she's studying boys. She ain't studying. She ain't studying no school work. She's studying boys. Watch out now. They out there. Career hoes out there. Master degrees and that shit. Taking my top ten percent back because people was going strong at the beginning. Ah, dang! And then they slacked, and I was doing the same pace the entire year. Oh yeah, I'm getting my. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be cool. Uh, Slim out here starting shit. Their GPAs plummet, toilet, flush it down the drain. Not taking that bullshit, bro. Keep on doing that shit to me. I'm not taking it. What round is it? I don't even know what round it is. I'm not taking that shit, Seminole. Oh, it's the night round? Okay, I got plenty of time. Seeing you to sleep. Keep on, keep on. better be on youtube or something bro you better be motherfucking on twitch you know live streaming I irl fight or something bro
And you better be working on your defense. Move your head. What's your style, Eli? What you, what, you, uh, what your game plan is, man? You say you're going to be fighting on the 17. What's your game plan? What you going to do? You going to go to the body? You going to go to the head? You going to catch him with an uppercut to the chin? Huh, what you going to do? You an outside fighter? He said, I ain't trying to get hit at all. He said, yeah, I'm an outside fighter. You back the fuck up. What's up? <laughs> See you 5'10, 138, so I'm taller than most. Man, you tall and skinny than a motherfucker. 5'10, 138. Lanky, boy. Lanky. <laughs> you thin. Boy, I bet your wrist thinner than mine. Oh, you heard that? My daughter said your wrist thinner than hers. You better not throw no uppercuts, bro. You're going to fuck your wrist up. <laughs> Six pounds more than me. <laughs> Can't so you need them, to eat a little bit more. Some weak wrist, bro. Eat a little bit more, buddy. Drink some protein uh, shakes. Nah, you need some cornbread, bro. I'll take you over to my mama house, man. You go to my mama house, bro. She'll make you some cornbread, collard greens, fatten up your wrist, bro. Some meat on them. You need some beans, rice, cornbread, bro. Some neck bones. Shit like that, bro. You need some soul food. Your wrist gonna be all tape, bro. I need you to triple tape your wrist. <laughs> this wrist doing this. I don't need you having none of none of them uh punching injuries, bro. I got a son right here, right now, man. I call him Sasquatch, man. This dude eat everything. Every time I look at him, he eating. <laughs> he got food in his mouth right now. <laughs> Sasquatch eat everything, bro. He de he definitely got you beat. Sasquatch probably he, that boy probably about down there two hundred pounds. How much you weigh, Clay? Like one fifty something. Man, you a lie? I, I do. <laughs> yeah, I weigh like one fifty though. He weigh about one fifty, one sixty right now. He must, he he got he, no body. He's, he's like five 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 six. He got no he got no body fat. <laughs> he got no body fat to be wearing like that. He got no body fat. <laughs> That's Boy, crazy. Boy, he got thirty pounds on you. It's six <laughs> inches under. <laughs> when people be looking at me and they're like, you do not look fat at all. You be no, like, that dude's all that muscle. Uh, Cause I'm I'm shit right at 180, bro. I gotta be all body fat. <laughs> this, this dude's all muscle. I don't look. I mean, y'all looking at me? I don't look fat. I'm only five five, bro. Like five <laughs> six maybe. I'm only five 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 six, but yeah, I'm I'm about this 180. Is a short one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I damn showing sure all muscle. I mean, I'm looking at my son. My son is thicker than me, and he and he's. He said he 150? Yeah, right, bro. I don't know what kind of scale he been on. <laughs> it's a janky it's ass scale. This is all lean muscle. That's yeah, a janky scale. That's what it is. 
right now. I'm so skinny. Come here! Heavier than me now. Oh, I thought I was gonna get him right there. I said, Come here! One thirty-two. That's cool, bro. I was, I was right at one twenty-eight, one thirty-two, my whole life, bro, until I got married. <laughs> Until I got married the second time, I'll put it like that. I about I was one thirty two all the way up until I was about thirty two years old. Mine's was skinny. Oh, <clears throat> one thirty two to about thirty two years old. I think the lowest I ever weighed at my age started like one thirty eight, and then the highest I ever got was like one fifty five. Like, you weigh almost one sixty right now. It's Camps. I'm not going to none of these at all. Man, I'ma rip the back of his head off. I can't believe they ain't give me no give me no rock for that. Come here. Nah, not really, bro. Only that esports. <laughs> <laughs> Only esports. <laughs> uh I was playing in the seventh and eighth grade. Nothing in high school. Seventh and eighth grade, I ran. I did everything. I ran track, played basketball, played football, played some soccer. When I went to high school, actually, I did play a little bit of tennis. I sucked at tennis, though, bro. I was terrible. I didn't realize how hard tennis was, but I tried it. Yeah, it looks easy, but that's just actually um, pretty difficult. You gotta have some crazy hand eye coordination. One of my teachers is a tennis player. It's like, you gotta have she some weird tech. First place. You gotta have some like weird technique, man. Tennis has a, like it ain't just easy. Like you would think you got this big ass circle thing, bro. Like all you gotta do is just swing at it. You just like swing at this little bitty ball. You got a giant circle. You think you're going to hit it, but nah, you got to have good technique. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Seminole. You got to have good technique because you got to keep it flat and you got to kind of like turn it sir, as you hit. Like flip it up and down. You got to kind of got to like curve it. You got to have some crazy technique with tennis. So, uh, yeah, I sucked at it. The only sport I miss is volleyball. I didn't put enough time in. I never played no volleyball. I didn't put enough time in uh in tennis to to learn how to do it the right way. Volleyball is probably the only sport that put like that I actually got injured in. <laughs> Basketball, I never got injured in because I wasn't no flopper. I wasn't flopping like no dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> so wasn't no flopper. Yay, yeah, man! When that when that Lakers game come on. Is there is there a water bottle over there? What, dude? You say my name. What you Because doing? I keep telling you, mom, mom's trying to, mom's outside. She needs help. You, you just say Savannah, Savannah, Savannah. You didn't say nothing about mom. Yeah, I'm not listening because all you're saying is Savannah. You have to like Savannah. Alright, uh, doing pretty good. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do one more fight. Actually, I'm gonna do another fight as a uh, con. Um, I 
think I could be a better calm fighter now, bro. I just didn't, I just didn't realize, like, I don't know, bro. There's like, there's so much information to process when you when you play in this boxing game, bro. Like, no lie, it's so it's a lot of it's a lot of information to process. No matter how much sauce you got, bro, you like really processing a lot of shit. That's why I say this game, this game is the, you know, a game that keeps on giving, bro. Like, this is a game, like, the more and more time you put into it, the more and more understanding you have of boxing and understanding you have of the game and everything, this game just keeps on giving and they're going to add more shit to it. It's absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. What a fantastic game. Yes, this game has flaws. All video games have flaws, right? All of them got flaws. But what a fantastic video game. What do we say? Phenomenal. What a phenomenal game, bro. What a phenomenal game. Oh my goodness, she went shopping? That's right, she had to go get her a black dress. Good care of you. Yep. What's gonna happen to you? Mom, mom, my baby. What? Oh, I'm leaving next week. No. Bring my food in here. Taco Bueno. Oh. Feel like I got glitched or something, man. Ain't nobody to fight. Let me turn this thing back on. Turn it back on. Okay, uh, it's the game that keeps giving. All right, y'all. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you, lovely lady. There you go. She, uh, she was real, real calm and stuff. You sounded like you had an energy. Oh, goodness. Don't get stressed, sweetheart. Whose anxiety high is Nevaeh? Nevaeh said, you better take good care of me like she's just going to die as soon as you leave. Her anxiety ought to be high. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's a, my anxiety, 
That's a cute little fear she has, but that's not gonna happen. They could, they can try, but they're not gonna be doing a whole lot of nothing. They all gonna be in their living room, for the most part. All of them go out a little bit, but they're gonna be in there playing with each other. Man. Got some Roy Jones. Ain't nobody worried about Roy. Not Lakers game on yet. Our Lakers game won't come on late, ain't it? It might come on late. No way, where's my Oh, what's on right now? Thank you, Mom. Come on, you know I'm about to down my car and talk about his five dollars here. Lakers. On there. Lakers up. Ten. I believe them. You know what you spent yesterday? <laughs> I, I spent it on that. I, I think I got like two dollars left. What can you do in eight hours? You could save your money for next time. <laughs> hmm? I said, he said, what could I do in eight hours? You could save your money for next time. That's what you could do. Dad, Dad said, save my money. You, now, you have a dollar sixty-six. 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 Y'all went out, y'all stuck like Chuck. <laughs> What'd you say, y'all stuck like Chuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. You. Hello, Dad. Hey, sweetheart. Hello. Not you. Thank you. Can the boys give me this snack? Dad give him some money? Dad give him some money? Can, can he give me a snack? Yes. Is that my bean dip you got over there? Huh? Is that my bean dip you got over there? What bean dip? That's for me to travel with. I bought that to take with me on a 17. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know, babe. You see it's in the bag and I didn't move it. I didn't know. That's my stuff for me to travel 17 hours. I didn't know. I what go, do you mean you didn't know? It's I didn't right know. It's right there in the bag. It's not put up. I didn't know. I just seen some snacks. Want me to go? I can go replace it for you. I can go to the store. I'm about to get away my last I can go to the store and buy, buy some more for you so you ain't got to go replace it. Eat over here. 
Some Pringles. I wasn't thinking. I was just thinking I was hungry and it was a snack sitting over there. I, I didn't even think about the trip. I, di I didn't think about the trip at all. I was just like, oh, we got snacks in the room. No, they were for the trip. They waited. I didn't have to stop. <laughs> Should've never, should've never bought me no taco plane though. How you get it done right there, man. I want you to fight like that, Eli. <coughs> Eli on the 17th, I want you to fight like that. Stay outside. He don't want to get up no more. He don't want to get up no more. He didn't have he didn't he didn't have no tools. He ain't had nothing to go to. I was outside. I peppered him up. I messed up his stamina. You know what I'm saying? I was all in the belly. Then after that, I started going to his head. And he ain't know what to do. He's only a level 13. He didn't know what to do. Uh oh, we got us a fighter, level 27, Prodigy, 296 and 37. Either he's a plug puller or he figured out how to fight young. Oh, it's you? Oh, what's up, Eli? Who the fuck is y'all cussing at? Who are you cussing? You really know you going in. Like y'all pay some bills around her. Y'all don't pay no bills in this fucking house, but be cussing around her. The owl, them cussing words, that's a whole bunch of one paragraph. You better chill. In one paragraph. He said, "It's a whole bunch of one paragraph." You better chill. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not uh. Uh oh. We not outside. They didn't found out. They didn't found out. I mean, just bluntly cussing. They like I ain't in this fucking house or something. Hey, oh, well, you should have went over there and slapped the shit out of somebody. The next, I, the next time I hear one of y'all say a cussing word, I'm gonna hit you dead in your fucking mouth. Didn't say a cussing word like damn on accident. Was like you in this fucking doing this fucking shit and blah blah blah. Uh huh. And then you should have went right in there and said, "Yeah, I mean, motherfucker." Yeah, cool conversation. <laughs> You won't have no PlayStation, no Xbox, no iPad, no computer. The next time, no iPhones. The next time I heard all of that, 
Y'all ain't gonna have no electronics. Nothing. I'm taking every game system out that living room. Damn. All you gotta do is just change the Wi-Fi code and all that shit'll stop working. You ain't even gotta pick it up. Just change the Wi-Fi password. You can't do shit without Wi-Fi. <laughs> change it. Change it. My bad. I don't need you to put your two cents in. Okay. I got this. Okay. Eli, you a level 27 boxing like that, Eli? Crazy, bro. Yup. Cause you were talking all that, talking all that ish. You like I said, you sound just like your mama. So what, what am I? I'm a level 48. It took me a long time to figure out how to box, bro. I ain't, I ain't even gonna front, bro. I think I was in, I was like level 30 something and I still box like trash. It took me a long time to start, to start getting some boxing skills, but I don't box in real life or none of that. Oh, playing this game like Mortal Kombat like a motherfucker. Nah, BZ, I seen you have hands. Don't, don't have. Yeah, I had to learn, bro. Dead serious. When I first started playing this game, I sucked. I wish I had a video. I wish I had videos from my first week of playing this game, bro. But Twitch don't save don't save videos back that far. Oh, in real life, no, I don't be fighting like that. Mm. -mm. I got a stick, bro. That's what I got in real life. I got a stick. I ain't finna fight nobody. I got a clip. <laughs> I got to extend it. I'm not finna fight nothing. <laughs> they just don't let you fight? Maybe I could have been a fighter if the world was different, but we stay in the world, you know what I'm saying? You get hit with that bow and arrow. You get, we in the world with projectiles, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to projectile your ass. I'm going to projectile your ass to death. I'm going to zone you out, bro. With the, uh, you know what I'm saying? With the Hadoki Uzi. Yes, sir. Texas. Pow, pow, pow. Yosemite Sam style. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I th I th I th yep. You don't see it like that, though, bro. It ain't like everybody was walking around with just guns on their hip all the time like it's the Wild Wild West. But you can. You just don't see it like that. Don't be scared, bro. It's normal like everywhere else. Everybody ain't walking around with the gun on their hip.
Rootin' tootin'. Good night, baby. Yeah, I chose. Yo, I will. Good night. I'm not going to sleep. Oh, that means good. She not going either. <laughs> She's gonna keep on coming back and bothering you. throat.
<clears throat> I'm gonna try to stop the fight with the cut like how Eli did me. I'm try to stop the fight with the cut. You got to write on his eyebrow. I mean, knockouts work too, but I'm trying to, uh, he ain't gonna get up. He gonna quit? Nah, he getting up. Little girl, what you doing? I thought she was gonna be packing. Hey, sweetheart. Why are you looking like that? Why are you looking for peculiar? Hey y'all, that's gonna be it for the night, man. We did eight hours. We good to go, man. We good to go. Spend some time with my wife, and uh, and uh, I'll tab somebody up or something like that, man. Let me see. We're gonna raise somebody, and I have you know all my favorite streamers tabbed up. Let me see who we gonna raid. <laughs> oh, we really ain't got too many people on right now. So we got Raw DZ on. One of my number one raid spots. Uh, we actually have a pretty good amount of people in Undisputed tonight. 64 people. So I'm going to go with Shit, we going we going to keep we going we going to stay on top, you know what I'm saying? We going to stay on top. It's raw DZ time right now. It's raw's time. We going to stay on top, baby.
Good morning. I'm Peter Davidson. Not Pete, because before 11 a.m., I like to keep it toned down and simple, just like Taco Bell breakfast with fluffy eggs, sausage, melty cheese, and a...